It's tails. All right, so uh, uh -huh. adding is is blessed twice. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Poppy, do you want to ban any map before proceeding? Uh, <laughs> okay. So I don't really know the map names of the maps by hand. Um, I'm banning that mansion one. Oh, it's only out of this four... even allowed. So yeah, it's, it's not even allowed. Four. So there's only four legal maps. It's um the first one in the list. Uh, trial by fire. Then there's um enemies at the gate. Uh, which is the one with two um high grounds sort of facing each other. Mm, uh, straight. One. Yeah, this one. And then uh, there's Skyfort, which is literally the uh arena the first arena in the story uh when you become the you know champion of the arena that that's that's not the one though it's the the oh it's this, it's this, this one. one yeah this one is also legal uh so i don't know how much you've looked into them poppy or you yeah, no. yeah so... not much in particular <laughs> okay you uh, don't have to ban anything i mean okay so, so that angle had to uh sky for it in that case and yes you right. guys will get to play on another map later um Okay, so you can just start the game for now. And mm -hmm. uh, now, so Dadding won the coin toss. He gets to ban someone first. Yes. If, if yeah. desired. Let me think. <laughs> yeah, let me think. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ban Loa. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Poppy, how about you? Now, no, sorry. So now Poppy, Poppy bans one. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna ban Malady. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Well, now Dedding gets to ba uh, to pick one, and after that, mm -hmm. uh, Poppy will get to pick two, and then two, yes. and then one. So it's like one, two, two. Yeah. Okay. So Dedding goes. I go with Shen. Sure. Right. So, All right. Yeah, your turn to pick two, Poppy. I go Rodeca and um, yeah, Slain. Rodeca and Slain. All right. right. Okay, Dadding, you get to pick your last mm. two now. Yep. Um. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pick O. And. Hmm. Which gonna be the last one? Oh, and sync token. Let's go. <clears throat> yes. All right. All right, and then for my last one, uh, I'm gonna choose Sahela. All right. Okay, go for it. Oh yeah, I forget. <laughs> I forget to actually choose the hero. Uh, <laughs> yeah, would, do it for you. <laughs> would, would be good. Okay, so, you can ready up now. Yeah, you're ready. Let's go. All right, let's go. Uh, so I guess you guys can alt tab and uh, deafen and mute yourselves, and we'll be uh, commentating yep. in the back. Um, All right, so good right. luck. Uh, just real quick, Poppy, do you think you'd be able to stream your side so I could uh, watch more live or not? Nah? Sure, um, I do not have any already like started, intro, so, so it might be enough. a little blurry, but... I can live with blurry. Yeah, yeah, blurry's fine. Is that good? Oh uh, yeah, it actually looks great. Okay, cool. Perfect. All right. Good luck to you guys. Muted already. Perfect. Let's go. All right. Yeah, I'm already kind of surprised just by the picks. Like having uh, Aru and Jahan on the same squad is insane. Yeah, I I know. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um. 
we'll see first of all if he does the the opener with Jahan if he knows about it I assume if he first picked Jahan then he probably knows uh are we about to have a 60 seconds timeout already up there I hope we didn't distract them with the chit chat early on during the game oh No, at least he split his uh red. Oh, he's not going for it, is he? He's keeping it for later, maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because the other, uh, the no, other there's, has, uh, two. Yeah, there's a body back there. Yeah, there's two. Uh, there's several bodies. Uh, some some people have expressed concerns with this map, but honestly, every map it has its quirks. You know, <laughs> every map yeah. is low-key crazy. <laughs> Um, everyone has different ideas of which map is completely broken and which one is not as broken, depending on what strategies they've come up with on them. <laughs> so. I, I think this map's pretty well balanced. Uh, they start off a little bit further than they do on Trial of Fire, from what it looks like. Uh, well, I mean, honestly, like, the way... It's because if you draft certain setups, like depending on who you put high ground because the third character you pick in your draft will go high ground depending on who you put there uh you can just teleport someone from their team to wherever you want and do some crazy combo right off the bat and basically delete someone potentially before they get to play right off turn one so it's it's kind of weird that map and that you can really just sort of trade blows um yeah you, you have like a high yeah ground, that, that's fair yeah you have a high ground sight on the enemy right away which is pretty wild um yeah it would really suck if someone teleported your alexander before they got to do anything really yeah before they got to fortify themselves for one ap right <laughs> that's why you pick alexander yeah, yeah i mean it'd be yeah. shocking if that happened like two different games in two days yeah, exactly. So this map sort of allows that, but I mean, most maps are, like, two-player maps are small in general, right? So Trial by Fire, you'd think, well, there's high ground, low ground, you know, you don't have sight of the enemy right away, not when you spawn, but you, with Lohar, you can Adrenaline and still in web the whole team, there's... It's... Game's wild, yo. <laughs> it's kind of how it is. <laughs> and I like it, honestly, because the game being, like, a turn-based thing... Uh, it could drag on forever if if people didn't die, you know? Like, you want people to trade chess pieces and take heavy damage, like, early on. Uh, so so I think it's, it's pretty interesting that way. Um, the way they've designed the arena, there's not that much... Like, you can't survive for long. Because I, I tried someone's uh, arena mod... A balancing well not a balancing mod just a mod with new heroes and there was so much healing that like the round just felt like it was never gonna end right yeah i remember you mentioned that yeah. a while ago where you just kept healing yourself and stalling the game out yeah, well i've i've actually won a game like that on this map once uh because my opponent only had gareth left and i had tarquin <laughs> i was able to just kite him to death that was on this mode you know um, yeah yeah but this is like it that already was kind of not really the kind of gameplay you want to see i guess uh so so definitely if more healing was involved then it, it would just happen all the time so i think not having too much like healing and like magic resist buffing stuff makes for some pretty like aggressive uh faster paced matches yeah all right, so at first I was kind of surprised when Poppy brought Slane up to the high ground, but he's doing a pretty good job dragging, uh, who was that, that he just hit Aru out next to the Incarnate and just beating him up all of his physical armor. Mm -hmm. Getting the, the early bleed off and dragging him out where he can be hit by Sahila uh, next is really good, because if he dies and there's no Incarnate, then it's almost like losing two heroes at that point. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, if you right. have, in this map, if, if you're 2v3, and you're both sitting on high ground. I mean, it's you're just done if <laughs> you don't have anything going for you, you know. <laughs> so, um, oh, there's this weird trick where, yeah, there's some really wonky. I don't know if that's gonna connect. Yeah, that connected. Oh, nice. There's like if you go right at the edge yeah. of your platform, there's some really uh like precise hitboxes you can land, 
And one thing I've discovered of looking at Saul playing him, playing in this map, is that let's say you have like Hail Strike, which has projectiles that fall from the sky. You can aim your Hail Strike at the ground under the platform in the gray area where you can't see. And you can click there, and the hell strike is gonna drop there from t the top of the platform. Um, oh yeah, because all the the Larian maps here are two dimensional. They don't have the like you can go up and down, but like there's no actual ceiling to it. Everything comes from quote unquote where the ceiling would be. Yeah, exactly. So so uh, that that allows to like. It's just for those platforms, like platforms that don't have walls underneath them, or like they they bring up weird stuff <laughs> uh, yeah i mean that's uh that's what happened to me earlier where i tried to hide some behind the platform because i forgot that they don't act as an actual wall and i got hit uh through like the the slats i guess yeah exactly i've i've honestly if it wasn't for this map i might have still be I'm, i might still be in the tournament uh because i had a low heart pick and that's exactly what happened he was hidden like in like far away um but somehow um, Maester found an angle between these wooden pillars. And then, like, I was behind a wall, but he found, like, a super far away place where he could land his, like, winter blast or something. Or, like, the ice knives. And uh, so I, I want to quickly point out, uh, flying slain down like that, very risky. It would have been yeah. better just to save that 1 AP and fly him at the beginning of his next turn. Uh, yeah, yeah guess... he's definitely in danger there. Yeah, yeah. He's in range of the Incarnate and both j and Tarquin. Uh, that was... I guess he's trying to... I really don't know, actually. I guess he's trying to, like, finish a kill as soon as possible, but I don't see why. I really don't see why. Oh, Terror Grenade? They have magic armor, don't they? they uh, no, uh, uh, Sahila... Uh, she's all out of magic oh, armor. Yeah, I think yeah, he's trying to get her out of the way. Yeah, she sure is. Because since Radica already used Mosquito Swarm, uh, Sahil is the only one with physical damage unless Swain, or Slain gets into melee. Oh, that didn't hit her, right? <laughs> no, I feel like yeah, she no, just she... missed. Yeah, that hit the... Yeah, the indicators sometimes are, are not accurate at this point. It's, uh, a lot of people express a lot of frustration with this, but I think... You know, people will just have to to get used to the quirks of the the game. Wow, my gosh! Yeah, going. I'm surprised there. he chose for the corrupted blade instead of a battering ram to completely uh, cancel a turn. Uh, well, he the, still has physical armor, yeah. so it wouldn't have worked. Physical armor blocks it. Yeah. Oh, I th I'm sorry. I thought that uh, yeah. I was looking at the wrong champion that got hit. Okay. Yeah, that's a weird thing about the incarnates. Anyhow, is that they, they often deal elemental damage. But oh my gosh! Oh, that was a good. That, I've never seen a superconductor quite that good before. That was amazing. Yeah, <laughs> they're so satisfying to watch. Well, okay. Wow, they're see at this point they're really trading blows. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is just a pure slug fest. I kind of love it. But no, I know you guys can't see what Poppy's doing on my end, but he, he targeted the Incarnate instead of just killing off Aru, which would have killed the Incarnate too. Uh, but, I mean, Aru has the comeback kit. Has he already triggered it? I'm not sure, but he also had... Uh, all of Sahila did lose her turn. Oh, never mind, never mind. She's not up yet. Yeah, no, he could have popped it and then killed him off with Sahila. Right, yeah. Yeah, that terror grenade missing might uh Well, I don't know. Frankly, I think Sahila is a little bit useless. <laughs> I don't think it's the biggest deal if she loses a turn or not, but we'll see. You know, I was never a fan of her when I played her, but you know, being on the high ground, she's getting like an extra forty-five percent damage, which is pretty significant when everyone on um uh Dadding's team has pretty low armor. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. She has no knockdown, nothing though. She has crippling, like she has a three AP crippling move. Blocked by. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think she's really meant for crowd control. She's meant to just kind of try and deal damage and hold someone in place with a pin strike. But um, yeah, she's. I think she's more of a setup and a fixer than an actual crowd control person. 
your kid is being we can all hear your kid by the way just saying <laughs> uh, yeah i'm sorry he's uh he's actually uh, he, he's watching puppy pals on disney plus but he's singing wheels on the bus for whatever reason <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. It's 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 a happy background, I guess. <laughs> yeah. In any case, uh, yeah. For me, Sahil. Oh. The the. I, that's why she didn't target him. He's got resist death. Yeah, that's, could, that's what I was talking kill about. Her. Yeah, he has yeah. come back, kid. So that's why he wanted to make sure the incarnate was gone and wouldn't get another turn, no matter what. Uh, I yeah. respect that play a lot for sure, because honestly, the incarnate is often scarier than aru himself frankly oh for sure oh it's not just comeback kid he has actual resist death or is that just yeah, comeback kid on the edge. Edge. that is that is comeback kid and that 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 is comeback kid that oh no you mean well, living on the are... edge yeah living on the edge okay uh, that okay that explains i mi i missed tarkin casting that that was a really good choice from tarkin oh okay yeah, yeah. we, we I, I i missed it as well my bad yeah Okay, I'll focus. I'll focus. <laughs> There's a lot going on, actually. <laughs> there is. Yeah, you know I'm on quick to talk because the kid's still just singing behind me. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah, not much you can do there. Yeah, she doesn't want to go down the platform for sure. Um, I do worry. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, she does have one source point, which could be used later on. Although I think blessing the fire probably a good choice, but she cast it on Sahila directly. Not sure how I feel about that, other than getting rid of the burning. But she also like kind of gave away the position. Where is the heal right now? Uh, I'm still on the platform. It's in like the back corner of the platform. Oh, okay. Wait. Yeah. So like, if you look up the ladder and go to the left from up the ladder, that's where the heal is. Like on that back corner, where I don't think she can be hit. I wonder if popping goes for some invisibility. Oh no, it's already used. Never mind. I don't know what he does here. Honestly, I think the play would be to delay Sahila, and if Daddy doesn't do anything coming down, then just saving the AP, maybe repositioning. Yeah. Yeah, Which I know you guys head. can't see, but that's what's happening. Sahila is currently moving off the platform. I think he's going to go for a flank or maybe go for that destruction coffer. I think so, he's going for the coffer. So she's cloaked right now? Yes, yeah, she has come in cloak on. Okay. I didn't specify source coffers being banned, but there's none on that map as far as I know. Yeah, there's none. Oh, shit, there is. There, there's one in the very back. But oh. it's it's really far out of the way. Yeah, and, uh, we, I need to I need to still uh, mention it. I don't know if I can. I, I wouldn't add them during the match if one of them goes for it. Hopefully, they should know that they're not supposed to. But uh, Poppy didn't open up the destruction chest anyway, so they might not even bother looking at them. Well, he might head out straight for the source chest. Honestly, I mean that would be the play at this point. But yeah, I. Uh... It's. I mean, it's written in the rules, but I, 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 I don't often think of bringing it up. I forgot that there's one on this map because there's the only other map that has it is a chapel, I think. Anyway, we'll we'll, we'll see how it goes. Oh my god, the stream quality is. Really low right now. See if I can get a better one on the bird. Wait, I can't watch it. Oh yeah, I can. Oh, Poppy's quality is so much better right now. 
Uh, I think we're about to see the. Yep, here you go. The Bone Widow finally coming out to play. I feel like Bloated Corpse tends to be a lot stronger, actually. I like using Bloated Corpse as an opener and the Bone Widow for just extra damage. And then um, once Bloated Corpse comes back up, usually the Widow's either dead or no longer usable. Yeah, and then you just Bloated Corpse again. Yeah, I think that's definitely the... If you have a body to set that up, a corpse to set that up, I think that's definitely the, the way to approach it. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to do anything about Tarkin here. Um, this might end up being game over for Poppy, I'm thinking, for round one. Hmm. The Mosquito Swarm should eat right through that physical armor, cause bleeding. And I, uh, since it's Necromancy, you should keal up a little bit from it. Yeah, there you go. That's a nice 70 points, 80 points of healing. Yeah, he has no way to deal with the, with the spider at the moment. Uh, on his next turn, he will. He'll have teleport up. I don't know if Radix is going to survive for another turn. Mm -hmm. He might just go for da I would just go for damage on the Bone Widow to get that extra healing. Use that vac oh, vacuum touch. He doesn't have any uh, magical armor. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess just like throw some some one attacks on it. That, that would be. Done. Ah, ran out of time. Yeah, time management can be kind of stressful in these uh, uh, times to uh, tournaments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 yeah that, that's part of the, you know, like in a in a chess tournament or things like that. It's definitely part of the. Part of the, the skill set you gotta have, you know, to, to think fast and to make strong decisions. So, uh, when practicing, sometimes we, we play without limits, but uh, definitely in a tournament setting, well, I mean, just you have to have time limits just for the organization in any way, you know, it's just, it's just required. Yeah, actually, to uh, to practice my own time management for this, I had a friend play against me, and we actually used chess rules where we each had a five minute timer, and we would have a time go on our opponent's turn, and then stop it for our turn, and we kept ourselves to, like all ten minute total game, which helped a lot. Okay, that's that's pretty interesting. I I thought about. I've actually wondered. I, I've been wanting to try exactly what you did, um, but. I, how did you guys like? What tools did you use to, to set that? Oh, up? we we use actual physical timers. Um, oh yeah. Okay. Because you know we, there's no mob I know of for, but I, a mob like that should be pretty easy for someone to throw together for Arena. You know. Oh, that was one good shot. That's that's a good play. Oh, that was really good. Okay. So, oh my gosh, if it wasn't for Slain dying for no reason there, then I mean, yeah, it'd be a very different game. Yeah. Yeah, the slain misplay was unfortunately huge. Uh, Sahila might be able to pull it through. It really depends on if uh, those two platforms are even or if uh, Jahan is considered on higher ground Sahila. Oh, uh, he's higher ground. Yeah, I think in that case, running away like that was probably the better option. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's just, I don't know how Radica is going to fend on her own here. Um, he'll be able to, if he survived, yeah, he should survive up to the, after, I, I don't think the Widow can, uh, The Widow know, the, plus the, the totem, totem might be and enough. The widow, yeah. Uh, he, uh, that, that should have been the play from the start. He can just walk up and sucker punch her. Uh, does he still get to do it, though? No, he walked through the oil and got slow. Yeah, okay, that, that's kind of a saving grace then. I'm not sure, but I think she dies to the... The widow, right? Yeah, I think what Daddy needs to do is take that fire slug and move it towards Sahila, is kind of like just in case she comes back up. Yeah, but you can't really tell which side she's gonna go through. You know, that's the thing. Yeah, I think, I think where the slug is right now is fairly flexible. It's it's it has battering ram, so it can cover some 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 terrain. And if you leave it at six AP, like it can move around. You know. Uh, oh, he still decides to go ahead and. Oh, it gets it goes through. Yeah. Oh, that's disgusting. I feel yeah, so bad that's... for Poppy now. Yeah. Oh, miss. It's a miss. 
Oh, wow. Saving grace for a made it. here. Um, oh, yeah, that 5% miss is huge. She might be able to kill off Tarkin because she has a full uh, six. 6 AP here. Yeah. Oh, she's going to go for a uh, first to try to get some stuns going. Um, an interesting move. She's going to... Oh, he's superconductor yep. now. Superconductor. I don't know if that's then she's in. out of AP. Yeah, she can do the the touch first though, but it it won't be useful because it could only reach um, shock. But Tarkin is not shocked, um, and then she can't do much about that. So I guess. Yeah, I think the better option would have been to like. Teleport the Spawn Biter or the Bone Widow onto Tarkin and then just, I don't know, hit Tarkin with two shock spells. Yeah. I think that would have cost too much AP, but it would have been a good play. Well, I think. Hmm, I feel like if he did Blood and then he just auto attacked Tarquin and the Bone Widow, if he doesn't miss any attack, they would both get shocked. Uh, Tarkin oh, no, still Tarkin had magic armor. armor. Tarkin yeah. would have been yeah. shocked but not stunned. Yeah, 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 correct. Hmm, yeah, that was a tough one then. Yeah, I think definitely then the, the teleport was the play. Oh, is he in range of Earthquake there? That could be bad. Well... I'm never sure That's... when that works or not. That's weird. Because sometimes it just kind of clips on the higher platform, but this time it's still connected with her. Laser Ray has a really weird hitbox, I'm not going to lie. I don't think I've ever used Laser Ray outside of Arena, to be honest. Oh, really? Wow. It's a cool spell. Oh, uh, there we go. See, that's... that's... Like, to be fair, that's what should have happened, like, right from the start. We got another yeah. guys going on. Um, That's fantastic, uh, honestly. I I mean I'm in favor. Like I you guys, I've I've told some of you I've made a ban. Uh, I made a mod to to remove the five percent miss chance, and I'm <laughs> I'm still a fan of removing it. But I mean, uh, so far, I, I, I like having a little aspect of randomness. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. far, a lot of people mentioned preparing that, so I I respect it definitely. Well, congratulations to Dadding for winning the first round. Mm-hmm. So good. <clears throat> yeah. But, uh, Pretty two. intense round. Good, good, uh, uh, nice place to both of you. True, yeah. true. Um, I think, uh, biggest mistake is, um, uh, was suiciding, uh, Slain. Yeah. I thought he would be a lot... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we we were saying that if if Slain hadn't gone in there, it might have been a whole different game. <laughs> Maybe yes. Um, yeah, I, he had a personal vendetta. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I, I want to talk about that a little bit, but I want to be like help you out uh, during your preliminary match here. So maybe afterwards we can talk about uh, choices you could have made differently. Yeah. I uh. Um. So, so we can we can proceed with the draft here. Um, Poppy would now get to um, uh, pick a map, no bans, and then he was gonna pick the ban and pick first. So the, there's four maps, right? Yeah. So you, um, I, yes. I meant no bans for the maps. You can pick any of the four maps that that, that you'd like to play on. And are they the? Sorry. sorry. I'm, which uh, which four are they? Like I'm looking um, at the map list. Right now. Uh, you're looking at it um on Discord or you have uh, uh, yeah. trial yeah. by um, fire. I don't have access to the actual map. Just maps. okay. While you decide, give me two minutes. I go to the toilet. Be okay, right. sure. Be right so you uh -huh. have uh trial. Uh, there's no S there. Trial by fire. Um, uh -huh. and then you have uh enemies of the gates. Skyford, which you just played on, and then the last one is all the way up almost, is Chapel on the Cliff. Uh, on Chapel on the Cliff, you're going to spawn cross spawns um, as far away as possible from each other, and there's actually teleporters in the corners that teleport you to the back of your enemy. So it's a pretty right. interesting map, uh, but a lot of people love it. Honestly, Chapel is... Like, you're far enough from the portal that 
So you can't just like instantly teleport and blow everything up, but you can get close enough to like get an end wipe or something going. Um, so I have a fair amount of experience on chapel actually, so I think I'll pick it. Yeah, that sounds good. Go for it. it it's definitely going to be an interesting match if you go for that. <laughs> um, Skyfort, Skyfort is kind of it tends to be savage, man. Like people just trade blows and people blow up, and it's it mm -hmm. it can go many ways. I, I I feel like the more interesting games are. For me, are mostly oh. on Trials by Fire and Chapel, where it really feels like strategical decisions are really... Oh, what? I'm back. Touch. So okay, welcome back. I, uh, has Daddy uh, banned a map yet? Uh, there's, uh, no, there's no uh, not map not bans, not. since it's like a, a loser's pick here. So uh, gotcha. he's going on... Well, I think you wanted to pick Chapel, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, I have Bluetooth um, headset. I have a Bluetooth headset, so I heard it. <laughs> Oh okay. Yeah. Oh perfect. <laughs> okay then. Uh, so. so okay, so we're heading to chapel. Yes. Should fit all. Yeah. All right. Let's go. And Choose now uh, Poppy gets the first ban. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna ban Tarquin. Tarquin. All right. How about you, Dadding? When are you get a man? Yeah. Really ought to change this description to Dallas the Hammer was the finest general. Or maybe it's still the case. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna burn out. Okay. Alright. Alright. So, uh, who gets first pick? You do. Yeah. Yeah. I am gonna stick with Rodeca. Alright. Okay. Two picks for Dadding. Yeah. I go Loha. And I go Loha and Ruka. Mm. Okay. Alright. Um, I'm gonna go Zandalor. Yes. <laughs> yeah, alright. I, I, I had a bit of a... a so I, I picked the next one, right? Yeah, you picked the next yeah. one. I, I had a bit of a moment where I was like, I pick Zandalor as my next character. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, sir. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then... So, huh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Um, so, when I originally picked Slain, I thought he had magic armor. Uh, he does not. So, I will pick um, Alexander still with that knowledge. What? Uh, I'm going to say this right now, Poppy. You have like one of my dream teams set up there, so I'm going to be paying close attention. <laughs> Uh -huh. yeah, uh, can you tell that I, I really love playing uh, with, Hydro with Arrow also, when I was also when I played Divinity? Network. Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so, what's gonna be my last pick? Very different teams going on there. Uh, yes. It feels like both teams will have like very like brutal tools to kill the other. So. <laughs> I'm going with Dallas. <laughs> Wow, interesting. Oh. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm surprised with that pick too, yeah. Can't wait to yeah. see this. Oh. All right. Good luck, guys. Yeah. Have fun. Yeah, good luck. Let's have a good second match. I'll make sure you deafen Poppy. All right, so uh, I'm I'm just gonna come out and say that oh, I was very shit, surprised. Shit, 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 shit. Source by... coffers, source coffers. I don't know. We need to we need to specify it now. Shit. Uh, no one went after coffers the first time. Yeah, Let's not worry about it. It's right in the middle. Wait, wait, wait. I'll try to I'll try to. Yes, then. But what I was going to say, while I sent that message, I'm very surprised by the uh, dadding's. Uh, who did he pick Dallas for his last pick? Uh, he had an option yeah. to take Jahan again, and I thought Jahan would have been great for his team. 
Yeah, I think he was really going for that Aero Hydro synergy. Uh, but... Well, that, that's what Poppy has. Poppy has the Zandalor, oh, Alexander, yeah, you're right. and Radica. Like, that's a great team. That's the team that I actually used in my very first round, you're where right, it was like the closest right. match I had. Uh, Lohar, Riker, and Dallas is a very physical focused team, which isn't necessarily bad, but with Alexander's Fortify, his living wall, he can. Uh, you know, do a lot to box him out. Oh my god, that Lohar is gonna oh, get no. blown up. Yeah, he is not going to survive. Oh, and he has so little magic resistance. Yeah. This Lohar is this is this is gonna be rough to watch. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, because you have Zalandar and Alexander. Oh, every yeah, obviously everyone's gonna play before he gets to play again. So he's. I don't see how. Yeah, he he's. Oh, okay, so that in This is worse than a uh, slain sacrifice last round. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But then for that. Why is he, he doesn't need to blast himself there? He should find an Oh, oh, that was oh, well, he didn't hit himself. Winter blast does winter... not hit allies. That's true. I, That's I, right. I, I always forget that about winter blast. It's so random. It's kind of just random, but that's the way it is, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of nice because if all that shock water there, if Dallas goes to the portal next and tries to walk down, she'll end up stripping away some of her uh, magic resistance. Yeah, true. It, I mean, it's not. Is it gonna be a huge amount of damage? There are ticks of like twelve, but when you have eighty, that adds up really fast. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, okay. athletic wisp. I like that. That's interesting. Uh, yeah. Only physical moves, Procket, right? So magic won't do anything. I, I thought it was any there. damage. Is it only no, physical? No, no. Yeah, it, it definitely isn't everything. It might just be. Uh, it, maybe, maybe he doesn't even have anything that can trigger it. <laughs> I think about it. <laughs> it might. Be uh, he has. Uh, he. I mean, he technically has the tremor grenade on Alexander, and I think uh, one of those other spells does uh, physical damage. Well, I mean, I think probably if he did Staff of Magus, I, I would assume, I think that would trigger it also. Uh, no, Staff of Magus actually goes straight to the uh, armor. Uh, why did he just do Impaler mm. on the thing? Just to get it slow going. To, to slow anybody who comes um, through. You know what, that's that's actually smart. I yeah, like that's that. that's pretty clever. I like yeah. Because, I mean, getting slowed for Dallas would be pretty bad, I guess. Yeah, that pretty much guarantees that Dallas won't be going through it. She's going to have to come straight across. Well, honestly, if I was him, I would probably just walk up right next to the portal and my turn, and then after that, you go in, you get slowed, but you use your, your uh, Phoenix Dive to go in, maybe. Uh, that would still be a lot faster, I think. Well, maybe not. Maybe just walking through the middle is, is the play, but... Lohar is. <laughs> and Lohar is out there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah Lohar not having his next turn right there with all those magic users is going to be rough. Mm. Honestly, for me, like, Lohar is, like, has really, like, huge potential. So I've, I've often, like, sort of panic-picked him when I saw he was available, but he, he's really tricky to play, like, properly, I think. Um, he's, he's definitely a, a glass cannon. Yeah. If you don't use him right, you're just going to lose him immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. He does have some fairly straightforward opening, though. Like, you can just end web a team oh, and, yeah. and call it a day. Um, and usually your opponent will just panic from that. Oh, yeah. this. Oh, he gets it. He, oh, I think he... Does he get it? No. I, I think he I think it was out of like, range. Yeah, he didn't need to risk that at all. I don't know why he's going for that. I think he really just wants to get Riker off the high ground there, where he can just pick off his team one by one. Yeah. Well, Riker still have sight. Yeah, I mean, uh, he can just hit someone else mm. here. Ah. Uh, wow, this okay. is all kinds of interesting. That, that was, I don't know why that happened, because doesn't okay. Riker have poison? Oh, so Heal has poison. What's Riker's secondary? Uh, I mean, he has Dimensional Bolt, so he could potentially deal lightning damage that way. Uh, he could make electric uh, totems, I guess, with the water. 
But, well, no, because uh, the jellyfish makes him immune to electric, but uh, lowers resistance to was a poison and fire. So I feel like the jellyfish scroll is it's, super risky and unneeded yeah. there. It's it's actually counterproductive. I think. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think it would have been more productive to just go for a uh, source drain on that corpse next Absolutely, to him. Absolutely. But... Yeah. I, I. Ooh, that hit hard. But. Yeah, I think you get an extra. Was it? It's forty-five or fifty-five for, or sixty from the high ground there. Well, I, that was the ballistic shot that it's like extra damage for each meter difference. Oh, that's why I did like almost 180 yeah. then, huh? Yeah, that's right. I, yeah. I had, at least it was a casual match. I had a game against Maester where he landed a critical strike with that move. And oh. it almost one-shotted my character from... Sahila has quite a bit of health and armor and almost got one-shotted. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Like, if that lost me a tournament match, I could be so sad. What is he up to? It was a good call to throw that heal out, but he really needs to either finish off Lohar or knock Riker off that high ground. I mean, Lohar can probably just get chain CC'd. I'm not... Every turn that Lohar is disabled, I mean... You can keep the AP to do something else, I think, but... That's fair. I mean, I, I think it's nice just to get rid of him, yeah. and then you use that AP for actually hunting down people who are still alive. Oh, that's useful. Ooh, yeah, so uh, I don't know if you, whose screen you're watching, but he had he's picked up a teleport scroll from that chest, and yep. he's deciding he wants a Dazzling Bolt, which he did take. So those are good scrolls for Alexander to have. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, actually, definitely, considering he has water. Also... Okay, Battle Stomp gets a knockdown. Okay. That's kind of rough, actually. This game is not going quite the way I'd imagined. It's going to be a tighter one than I thought, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Poppy made a mistake kind of running around with Radica early on instead of just yeah. gunning down Lohar or yeah. putting in more effort into knocking out Riker. Riker. Which I think he's going to go up now and teleport Riker off the high ground. Yeah. Okay, that might be pretty huge, though. Looks like he's deciding if he wants to try and hit uh, Zandalor with them, which I think he's going to do for the double hit on Zandalor and Riker, which, that works out. That'll... Actually, I don't want to do much, because they both have armor still. I think the play here would be to save the AP, because then he can use Chain Lightning and another electric spell in the next turn. Can I bless Andalar? Bless? Hmm. I don't know what that's gonna push. Oh! Oh no, okay. So Lohar is... Lost his turn to stun, but now he should be free for the next turn. Going for his knockdown arrow, you just have one of these. Um, so unless... Sucker punching is involved... Um, there's no more knockdowns available on the Deadings team. Radica is in a really good spot right now. Um, like, oh, so yeah. That, no matter what happens from here on, Radica can easily get three source and cast her three source spell. If I were him, I would. Ooh, that's also. Oh, cool. that's gonna be a great yeah. superconductor. No way. Oh yeah, that's good. If he hits all those. Oh, he decides to go. Uh, I mean, it's the same amount of AP. I think he's doing that instead, so he can actually hit all three characters. Otherwise, he would not have hit Riker, and he would have killed yeah. a totem instead. Uh, okay. I I think that would have been better, though, to be honest. Yeah, totems are totems are not to be trifled with, man. <laughs> they hurt. <laughs> Yeah. It hurt real bad over time. Yeah, see, like I said, now Lohar gets a turn, and with Adrenaline, he technically has that 5 AP. He could probably could almost guaranteed kill off Zandalor here. Yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. He could just chicken him and call it a day, but he's just gonna clear up the kill. Um, yeah, honestly, I think just using 3P to kill and then get that, uh, and then save Adrenaline might not have been a bad idea, unless he's gonna. Go invisible and run away here. Okay, that's fair. Wow. That's fair. That that's that's huge. 
that's really big um, because if he has no way to detect Lohar, uh, Lohar can save up AP and just one shit, one hot, like she, he can just combo Radica to death if he sneaks up on her. Um, so he kept chicken for that too. So definitely uh, we could see Radica dying. Low hard, no problem, despite his uh, low health pool right now. Um, if I were um, in Poppy's shoes, I would be listening. I would have tried so hard to listen to uh, Lohar's footsteps there to, to figure out where he is, because that might be the I mean, game. He, he's got rain, yeah. so he could reveal him that way. Well, he doesn't know how far he got, that's the thing. That's that's true. He's, He's like, got to take a, well, a guess. Well, he would have only had one AP worth of movement plus the pawn movement, so he couldn't have gone too far. I think he uh, spotted him. He missed. He didn't. Okay. So, yeah, I think so the that's way he was secure. No, that's yeah, he did get to freeze Riker and kill off two totems, though, which is helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. Um... But it's still scary for his Alexander now. We don't know where Lohar is. Uh, see, it's yeah, just yeah. if you listen to the footsteps, it's probably like you're gonna be accurate enough to get to land the rain, and then yeah, he doesn't have anything. I think he he just he should just walk down the ladder and then the oh shit. Because that, that totem, was a risk. I think might, that totem will bleed him and everything. Oh, but that will kill yep. the totem. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, I think he also could have used Curse, because uh, De uh, Dallas has no magic, so he could have cursed her and weakened her for later on. If he... Yeah, I think that's... A little confused by that little movement that he did. Fuck, and then she's still on blood, so she gets stunned again. That's my experience with playing Dallas. This happens all the time. You go in and then you just perma lock for the rest of the game and you can't play. Yeah, I played Dallas once because like, oh, she's got a really awesome kit and then I got dumpst uh, dumpstered with her and I was like, never again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wanna... I I'll, I'll probably play her a lot in casual to see if I can make it work, but it, it feels like, you know, Malady is like... A high commitment, hard to play character to be. If you make one mistake, you can just lose the game with her because she just dies. Um, for me, Dallas is similar, but she just doesn't have as much to offer as 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 Malady. I think. You know, one thing I'm a little disappointed in with Arena here is the uh, the lack of like super support spells like haste and peace of mind, which I feel like would be really useful. Uh, yeah, they they would definitely. Um, what I find really interesting is that a source for hasted is to uh, bless web. You can you can do a lot with blessing and cursing surfaces, uh, and we'll see a lot of play for that. Uh, I wasn't like savvy in that until I started playing with some of the guys here, and um, there's really crazy setups. You can bless uh, oil to get fortified. You can bless. Uh, actually, the, the, there's very few sources of magic armor in the game, but if you make a surface of uh, ice and you bless it, you can get magic shell from the blessed ice. So, uh, I think the fact that they're not in there brings uh, a lot of creativity from the... Oh yeah, he's in the smoke, eh? But uh, Lohar, yeah. Lohar revealed himself. Oh, he has sight! Oh, wait, what? What? Yeah, I uh, I definitely agree that there's a lot of good creative ways to get haste, and I don't know Lohar. why he's not killing Lohar. That's like a yeah, yeah, yeah. must do. Uh, if even two wand hits will kill Lohar. I wouldn't even waste a spell here. Oh wow, well, he yeah. Yeah, the spell was kind of a bad idea. Just smack him with the wands, and he's dead. Yeah, just just auto. Yeah. Oh, he could raining blood to. Just, no, just just. See, see him. Oh, just everyone else is see. Oh. Oh no, what is he doing? Oh, this is this is this is becoming painful to watch. I mean Lohar Lohar's gonna probably know. get up there and kill her now. Lohar got shot though. That means he only has three RP AP starting. 
No, he only has one AP because he used a drone on last round. Oh, then if that's calculated, then just yeah, then that's fine, I guess. Uh, he's he's got three. He used adrenaline two turns ago, I believe. I yeah. thought he used it the same turn you. No, he used it the same turn you cloaked. Well, that's an yeah. issue then. Uh, he gets a good chain. Hopefully, the chain lightning bounces. That's one of the situations where I hate some of the spells in this game. You don't know if they're gonna hit or not. Yeah. And the chain lightning be like a good high risk, high reward uh, spell here. Well. Yep. Didn't win the game. It paid off. But... <laughs> that's pretty much a win. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you just go for the curse and the... Uh, I think she's got it handled. Yeah, it's yeah th this is why I love Radica. Radica's a super good carry if you get her in a good spot. Yeah, I, she, she... I don't draft her a lot, but on this map, I've seen her win so many games uh, when she gets the middle high ground. Um, her superconductor with high ground is disgusting. <laughs> It's so strong. It counters like totem, um, like lineups and things like that. It just clears everything. It's pretty insane. Yeah, we've seen two really good uses of superconductor from uh, Poppy. So this is really showing off for Deca. For sure, he's he's um picking her uh, with no hesitation there, and it. it... <laughs> It's uh, it's pretty convincing in, in this one. Yeah, I wonder I mean, if Rebecca's Rebecca almost always my first pick too. Yeah, this is over. I don't know where he's headed. I, I, was he scared to die to the like ticks of lightning on the floor? Maybe. 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 I think he just wanted to rupture tendons and then force Rebecca to move closer to hit him. I think. Hmm. Oh well, that's it. <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, wow. well, we, get a, we get a third one, then. Yeah, this is oh, a, this is yeah. a fantastic match. Yeah, Fuck, a, I, fuck a... I fucked up my first turn so hard. Holy. <laughs> oh, with the with the Lohar. Yeah, you, you did what yeah, you did I with forgot, the slang. I forgot you can't use Etrelin after. You can't, you can't use it afterwards, I forgot it. Oh, yeah, so oh, you're yeah. planning to have the extra AP to walk back through the portal? Nah, I, I could, um... Transforming him to a chicken, and so he would run over the map and would kill himself. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting. But I completely forgot about this one. That's uh, rough. <laughs> so he did that yeah. in this lane, and now you <laughs> did that to your Lohar. <laughs> That's pretty that, good. That to me always in single player, no in multiplayer. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck. But we played. Nice, nice. Well, yeah, this is this is making for some really interesting games for sure, though. That was that was exciting. Uh, we, um, we got so scared when the Lohar didn't die there with the 10 health. Uh, yeah. we, we we were like, wow, is Lohar just going to clutch it? But nah. um, not quite. <laughs> that Chain Lightning it, just blasted everybody and I, we were like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have the AP to do yeah. much. That's about it, yeah. Uh, cool by the way, I, I am sure you guys were watching, but I don't know if that's considered an exploit. What, uh, you saw uh, that I changed... Uh, who owned the tornado scroll? That's fine. Oh yeah. no, we do that all the time. That's that's okay. you don't yeah, yeah, you yeah. don't even need to change it. You can use it to the inventory. Even we oh, we yeah. played around with uh, switching weapons. There's no like you can send your shield or your knife to someone else. So far, there's no rules against that. Um, right. As far as unequipping and equipping weapons, the only thing that's banned right now is uh, there's a glitch where you can reset the cooldown of sucker punch over and over. Uh, this is not allowed. Um, okay. So you can't you can't cast sucker punch two 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 rounds in a row with the same character by doing that. I wouldn't be allowed. <laughs> but otherwise, anything goes. Like switch items everywhere. Also, source coffers are banned. As you as you guys saw, you didn't pick them. That's good. Um, yeah. Other than that, you're you're free to do uh, whatever you want. And that makes cool. trolls interesting because if you open a, a source uh, not a source like a destruction coffer, your whole team has access to the scrolls you pick up from them, right? So it's uh, mm -hmm. it's pretty strong. Anyway, I'll let you guys go on. Uh, from here right. on, so that would be uh, back to Dadding to get the first pick. Um, Dadding, you won on Skyfort, correct? So yes. Uh, that means you can't pick that one oh, again. 
So you would yep. have to pick any other three maps. Um, mm -hmm. So it's going to be Trial by Fire. OK. Yep. And then you guys can start it. And then Dadding will be the first one to ban and then pick. All right. You ready? Poppy, you there? Yes. Sorry. Let's go. So. All right. So I believe you get first pick this time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and for don't forget the bands. Yeah, I'm thinking about my band. Right now. I think I banned Loa again. Right. And uh, I'm going to ban Arhu. Yes, I'm going to pick Jar. Huh? I'm gonna pick Malady. Yes. And... Oh, Malady plays. That's that's spicy. I like it. I <laughs> do. <laughs> um, and then I get second pick, right? So yes. Epic. I'm gonna go for Rodeca again. All right. Oh, of course. <laughs> we would be a Does bit sad not to see her at this point, honestly. <laughs> we want to see what you'll do with her. <laughs> True. I'm surprised Dan Daddy so, didn't try to ban her. Nope. I'm going with Slane and Sandala. Okay. All right. All right. Very meta <laughs> from my experience, but we'll see. Oh. And then. I'm gonna pull out. I'm gonna pull out brackets here. Oh wow! Let's what? go. Hey, I think this is the first brackets I've seen in the tournament play. Yeah, in a while, <laughs> in general. <laughs> I, I am excited for this match. Let's All go. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, have a good one, guys. Yeah. Good luck. All right, so straight off the back, Poppy has two of my favorites and my absolutely least favorite pick, and I am very interested to see how this is going to play out. I really don't understand the, the game plan with, with uh, Brackus there. I have no idea how that's going to synergize with the rest of the team. Um, Same. Although I'm happy to see that delay tactic with Radica. That's another thing I love doing, uh, especially if I know my opponent's not going to do like, the Jahan opener. Yeah, but it's surprising that he's not doing the Jahan opener. I guess he doesn't know it. Uh, good thing we yeah. didn't. Good thing we didn't mention it anywhere. I'm I'm happy to see some games from Jahan without it. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, I figured probably once they're done playing, maybe we can show them things, and then because uh, yeah. like normally what I would do is if I have Rodeca on this two player side. You can move her up for one AP, uh, source vampires in that body, and then save two AP. Okay, yeah. And then if you're uh, really lucky, you can get like a nice chain lightning and, uh, you know, like a dazzling bolt or something off. Wait, he just... Oh. Up... Wait, I I'll need to look at the VOD for this. He got up there and then teleported. Yeah, he just kidnapped Jahan. That's, that's going to be spicy. Yeah, I thought... Hmm, I thought... I guess it depends on your spawn, but I thought it wasn't possible to do that on turn one with Melody. I often had to use the Nether Swap Scroll to, you know, need require only one AP. But using Teleport is is really strong. Yeah, especially since uh, I mean, actually, since he has Brachus or any physical character, he can battering ram Jahan on this turn, pretty yeah. much take Jahan out of the fight right away. Yeah, yeah. Somehow Jahan is at the. And, oh no, because he delayed turn on Jahan. Yeah, he did. This is what happened. Oh my god, this is going to be so hard for him. That delay turn is going to cost him a lot, I think. I don't I don't understand. I don't know how he's going to save the Jahan now. I really have no idea. He's just going to try to deal damage now. Yeah, yeah, this Jahan is going to take a beat. Um, no, what? 
Wait, he just oh, yeah, you want to get the oh, he had the teleport. Oh, oh, I, oh I, yeah, I was yeah. just like, how does he have the damage? But actually, the, the teleport already did the required damage. Now, I'm like... I was wondering the same thing. Oh, wow, this is this is so good already. Oh, he's going for the enrage? I would just, like, shackles him right away, mate. Nah, I guess there's no point now. You know, I would definitely shave the sack, the save the shackle, but uh, the enrage is kind of an interesting choice. I don't know how I feel about that. I think there was actually no reason to cast it right there because he can just save the AP, cast it next turn, and actually if he casts it next turn, it's a, it's gonna overlap. It's it's gonna affect that turn and the the the, the turn. Exactly what I was thinking. Um, but maybe I mean maybe he does not want to be enraged the turn after after that, so he can do other things. So I mean, maybe it's planned. It could be planned. If it's on purpose, it actually kind of makes sense. Because, I mean, John is not going anywhere, and he'll just need 4 AP to kill him, as far as I know. I mean, he, or, or nearly kill him. So, well, yeah, Jahan's going to get a turn. so far away. Uh, John will get a turn if he doesn't die. With Melody being up there on the high ground, there's a... Uh, uh, Radica only has Mosquito Swarm to help kill John. Oh, you're right. Yeah, he will get he will get to move there. Unless he does another teleport play and teleports another enemy on top of Jahan, which honestly would be hilarious to see. <laughs> um, see here. But um, Malady does have a knockdown also. Oh, it no, doesn't wait. Malady also have... Uh, no, she has Crippling Blow. Wait, she wait, has wait, the wait, wait, wait. Root. Jahan is still on the ground right now. That means that his next turn, he's still going to be down. Oh. So Brachis gets to play... Interesting. Wait, how? But yeah. he just had his turn. Why didn't he stand up? Yeah, I'm a little confused, honestly. I'm not sure how that worked out. Okay. Surprising decision there. He's going for that. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I, don't, I don't understand that choice, and I'm kind of amused because the wands also actually damaged uh, Brachus because he's too close and standing in the blood. I guess he's just trying to kill Jahan, but like doing way more damage than he needs to. Yeah, but uh, that, those are really surprising decisions there because, I mean, he was knocked down anyway, so it's not like he was going to cast a spell or anything. Malady. I don't think this is the time for another swap. Uh, huh. okay. Oh, Brachis, I, I was Bra Brachis is gonna go. Brachis might provoke them now. He's gonna get a. Sp oh no, he can't, right? Because he's enraged. Um, yeah, I think a better choice skills? would have been. I, I don't think you can use any skills when you're enraged. I think it's just all auto attacking. No, no, no. You can use weapon based skills. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he can whirlwind and battering ram. Yeah. I think he has whirlwind, right? Yeah. He doesn't have battering ram anymore, though. He used it, but his whirlwind is gonna hit hard. Trust me. Um, wow, this is so exciting. We're we're seeing some. Uh, oh, he's running out of time. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, oh that's no. that's rough. That's unfortunate. It doesn't. I think. Honestly, I don't think it matters much. He wanted to use his 2 AP, but he's just going to have 6 AP next turn. I don't think his malady is going to get disabled or anything. Um, does Zalandar walk up to get a TP out, though? I guess not. I mean, it would it would basically be suicide to walk in there, would it be? Uh, yeah, because uh, Rodeca still has her teleport up, so she would just throw him off the high ground and then give him a hard time. Oh. Time warp coming up? Oh, Oops. time warp. Okay. Let's see what he can do with that. Oh my gosh, he probably doesn't know, but the timer doesn't reset when you time warp, so it's actually pretty difficult to do all your actions in time. He only has a 20 seconds timer left, so I don't know if he's aware of the time running out at the moment. Yeah, the timer not resetting, I don't like that design choice. Although he he had the stun on Malady, that's really clutch that's right now. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I it mean, looks like I he think... got everything he wanted. Yeah, he literally only has Whirlwind left and uh, all in. So he's gonna go for one oh. Whirlwind and then one auto on Jahan. 
Somehow the damage is a lot weaker than I thought it would be. But that's still... He did get a crit with that auto attack though, which is pretty nice. No, 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 Enrage guarantees it. That's why. Yeah, that's why Enrage you... guarantees. Yeah, that's what. That's You're right. Like. I, I use that skill like so infrequently. I don't remember all the different pieces of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he would have been better off just no, no, no. Because Whirlwind deals the same amount of damage as an auto, so what he did there was optimal. Um. Hmm. That was somehow kind of underwhelming. I, I mean, maybe provoke would have been more interesting there, but he wasn't able to do it. Uh, he had no other knockdowns. Yeah, I think on his melee turn, if he was in another swap, he should have swapped melody with Rodeca and then just beat up uh, Jahan while he was still on the ground. Was he able to swap Malady instead of Slain? Was that an option? Well, yeah, he swapped yeah. Slain with Malady, so I'm saying he should have swapped uh, Malady with Mal Malady with uh, Redeka. Mm -hmm. and then that way Malady would have been in melee range. She's a beat on what uh, Jahan. Yeah. Interesting. Kind of, I mean, it just makes him immune so he can walk across that without losing any ability power. And honestly, it does make it so uh, Zandalar can't hurt him. Because I don't think anyone on uh, Dadding's team has fire or poison. Yeah. Okay, Jahan. I will say anyway. he's... Jahan, what, what will Jahan do here? Yeah, he's... Uh, he only has the 3 AP, I think, because he's shocked, and then I don't think he had any AP that transfers over when he's mm -hmm. knocked out or anything, right? Yeah. Um, that's enough to do the block combo. I would... Oh, no, but yeah, I would do that. Can he do that? Who would he do it on? Yeah, 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 he can do that. I hope he's not... I don't know, let's see. Okay. Uh, well, now Brachis has no magic armor, so he could get CC'd if Zandalar focuses him. Zandalar goes for a teleport. Far away. I don't think he has battering ram up again, right? So... Uh, I think battering ram has one more turn. I'm terrible at. I have like. No, it has three turns. turns. Yeah. Okay. It has a shit ton of turns. Honestly, I think the play here would be to uh, still move Brackets up closer and then just try and Mosquito Swarm if he can. He can, he can Mosquito Swarm anyone on the enemy team because they all have low enough armor. He, if he walks up the ladder... Oh, he goes for this. Why? Okay. I guess it's just because Brackets has the lowest hit points on the team and no armor or magic resist left. Yeah, okay. Yeah, if everyone turned around on him, that's true. He could die pretty fast. Um. Was there anyone he could have chained there? Not really, except Jahan, who's already dead, right? So there's not really a point to... It. Uh, he might oh, have Zandalor. been able to chain Zandalar, yeah. Yeah, Zandalor, like, chaining Zandalar right now would be huge. Really huge. Yeah, that, that, that Jahan dies there. I hope he goes for that. I will do that. Oh. He can't- oh! The play is to cast this and then curse Flame, and that's like almost just game win. Is he gonna go for it? Oh my god, if he curses Slain, it's, 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 uh, it, I'm not sure if it's gonna be one or two turns, but it's gonna freeze the shit out of him. Uh, okay, okay. actually, that, that's even better if she, cause she can curse him. Oh no, she doesn't have curse. 
No, but she. Uh, I, I like the idea of the blitz attack and then like battery ramming just to yeah. take Xandal out of the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh no. no! That is so unfortunate. That's that's rough to see. Yeah. Wow, that that that's that's pretty tough actually. Um, that might be comeback potential. Um, he decides to just walk away from her. I guess she is fairly healthy. And goes for a winter blast. Oh, it hit Brachus as well. Interesting. He gets to play as yeah, Brachus. Yeah, this, this might be the comeback here. He has to play as Brachus. What does he do here? He has an equalized scroll. He's gonna use it. Is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he uses it on yeah, himself you... and the other two, that would actually be good, but... He might also chain himself. I, I would use the equalize scroll on. Yeah, if he does himself, and oh what? Okay. I didn't, I didn't expect him to have uh, Radeka in there. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think Radeka was, or it. I guess it did heal her still, but it didn't seem as useful. Yeah, because because his low health would have affected. Uh, oh my gosh, that that did it. Yeah, that was that was a huge change. Oh crap! Yeah, and Malady was still stunned from the last round, so she just lost her turn. Bill Zandalar gets to play, and then Brachis, who might or might not get CC'd there. Yeah, I don't know what skills Zandalar still has available. I don't know if he can stun Brachis, and he already used the teleport. He has so many spells, honestly. <laughs> He has a lot of magic, and uh, so he's going for Hellstrike, and oh, he's going to yep. freeze right away, yeah. And what is he up to? Uh, he needs one more still. No, I guess he didn't have uh, Winter Blast up. Okay, well, time to shine. Let's see if he can make this work somehow. Malady is still fairly healthy, but she has no magic armor, and they both have a lot of like high spells, so... Yeah, I like this play of bringing Xandalar back to her and then just probably battery ramming him and make, take him out for a round. Actually, yeah, and after that, Brachus is up. So Brachus will get his turn before uh, Slain, and then we can see what he's going to do. He could provoke. That could be interesting. I think, uh, uh, can you, uh, is Shackle resisted by physical armor yeah, or magic armor? Yeah, yeah physical is. armor. Oh, he, okay. can shackle, he can shackle Xandalar! Oh, oh that, God, would that would be that would be clutch. Play. That would be really a good play right now. Uh, he gets healed. Yeah, mosquito swarm into shackles on on uh, on Zandalar would be really big right now. Um, he's going. Oh, for... just out of range. Okay, he's going for the chains. Yep. Please do it. Please do it. That just seems like the right play to me, hands down. And then mosquito swarm to heal yourself. Maybe he was just out of range or... He decides to go... No, no, he had the range for chains, for sure. Oh, oh he provoked oh, the dome. Play. That's, that's even oh, better. Yeah. That's, that's, a that's a good play. Oh, that's I didn't realize Shackles is 1 AP. That, that's huge right there. Yeah, that was that was really good. He only did Chill Toss, though, but, I mean, that still burned uh, Slane's turn. and She should be able to confirm that kill. Yeah. Honestly, I was kind of hoping for something janky like flying over there and using Whirlwind on both of them to hurt Xandalore and Slain. Oh, uh, that could have been funny. Brackets. But I think at this point... But better to play it safe. Life Leech and then Knockdown. Correct. Is the, oh, the Knockdown? I, oh, there's too much armor for a Knockdown. Oh, shit. Okay. I think he should have done the melee attack first and then the Swarm because then it would have gotten bleeding as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, you, you're perfectly right. That was the right sequence for it. He's frozen. He has one That's AP left. That's a good freeze. He has one AP left. There's not that much he can do. He decides to heal himself. He gets to play again before Brachis, actually. Um... Oh, he has extra AP apparently. I didn't think he had anything stored. Oh, because he only shield tossed last round, so he had two extra AP. Yeah, now he gets four AP, I suppose. He's trying to go for. A... Yeah, he's gonna try to finish off Melody. Let's see what he does. 
First it frees Brachis and then he has Icebreaker oh, again. Wow. That was oh my god, that was amazing. That was he, I can't believe he just clutched that. That was that, wow. was, that was crazy. Whoa. Ouch. Let's fucking go. Oh my <laughs> that, god. That, that wow. last round of Slain was amazing. That was a good game. Holy what fuck, the GG. Fuck. Was the teleport plane's building was unexpected. Holy fuck. Very nice. Wow. Was, I thought I had it. I just, I yeah, forgot about we, we, the icebreaker were... uh, does it in an AOE because it's usually so uh what's his face. So there, there were so many but... good plays there. That was so fun to watch. When we yeah. saw the uh provoke uh chains going on there, we were like, yeah, wow, this true. is genius, like this is gonna clutch it for sure. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately it seems like Slain only used three AP that turn. So that left one AP uh, for Dadding to to do his thing. I think that was a big difference. And then Dadding used that one AP extremely yeah. well, and I didn't realize that the the Icebreaker would be back so fast. Icebreaker is such a strong spell. Like a yes. three second yeah. or three turn cooldown. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, I, I will say one thing, Poppy. Uh, be careful those teleports, because I think you would hurt Brachis twice by teleporting the enemies too close to him. So when you hurt the enemies, you also hurt Brachis, which may have been like the big game changer here for you. Yeah, I actually figured I wanted to do that because um, because the be... whole uh, meme about you know living on the edge and stuff. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, personally, playing Brachis, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't feel like scared about him losing Fizz armor, honestly. Yeah, I think you you had triple uh, magic armor, so I wasn't super concerned either right. way. Mm -hmm. Or not you, but like betting. <laughs> At yeah. the end of the day, I mean, it's magic damage that killed him, right? I don't think his, the, his physical arm... He, he never got knocked down or anything, so... I mean, he didn't mm. have any knockdowns. He could have gone crippled, but I don't think that happened either, so... If anything, yeah. it would have prevented uh, bleeding, I guess. That's the only status effect that was potentially a worry for him. Mm. Or, you wait, sorry, yeah. what are you referring to? Uh, you keeping physical armor on Brachis or not, I, I mean, the only uh, status effect you were protecting yourself with uh, his armor could be bleeding, I guess. So, uh, as you say, essentially, yeah. I don't think his armor was, like, a big deal for him at all. Yeah. Um, you popped Living Edge really early. What was the thought when that happened? You thought that he might get focused and just die, like, chain CC'd or something? You wanted to Yeah, I sure. thought he would just straight up die. Um, I forgot that he's also Brachis, so no one cares who he is. Um. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have ignored him. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was really salty when I blitz attacked and I got 100% yeah. done. Oh, uh, we were we yeah. were we were sad when that happened. I mean that that you saw how the game ended, so it was really exciting <laughs> yeah. that that it got that close. Maybe because of that move, but that was definitely unfortunate. Yeah. But but the one part when I used my my ice move on Redaker and she only had three MR. Oh. This, yeah. this fucked me a bit. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This game sometimes. 3 yeah. MR and she would get freezed. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, uh, wow. And, and Jan had would survive. Yeah. Oh, this was so unlucky. When um, uh, when you smoke naded me in the previous game, yeah. I, I was trying to do the tornado meme, but um, <laughs> it turns out that the smoke grenade didn't work at all and I could just see straight through it. <laughs> smoke oh. grenades are so ground. weird. I, I feel like if your character is not in the middle of the smoke, or even mm. then, the, the effect it has on, on the, the like vision cones is very weird. So, yeah, I, uh, I, never, I never used one, so I wanted to try it. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, I've won a game because of it, like a um, low hard, hard committed to doing in web and a smoke grenade mm -hmm. on top and then a curse, which is a really strong combo. But it turns out that he, he locked down a mage and somehow my mage had vision through the smoke and I was able to just blow yeah. him up. Uh, so it, it smoke is like many surfaces yeah. seem unreliable, but smoke, it definitely seems to be the most like unreliable thing out there I, <laughs> going for yeah i have the feeling it works some other way around so if you send in the smoke you're invisible to your surrounding but not sometimes you can find the angle yeah. to, to shoot through it yeah i honestly yeah. i think that the the weird interaction with smoke might be especially uh blatant when there's high ground involved if you're on the edge of a yeah. cliff True. um it uh, might be especially weird in those cases um mm -hmm. but yeah, it's one of those things, I guess, just 
experimenting with it. For those that really want to go down the rabbit hole um, and be consistent with it, it might just be a lot of uh, <laughs> you make yeah. a Monty Arena and you have yeah. six Lohars and you just toss grenades around and see <laughs> what's going on. Super fun. You must <laughs> endure the man. Niles never. What was that? Yeah, you know, I actually uh, I, I like playing Niles every so often. I had a good time when I used him. Wow, yeah, you're brave. I, I I've tried him once or twice, and I've. Uh, uh, he, he's not like S tier. Like I, I definitely prefer other people over him, but I don't think he's bad. Like Brachus or Lucian. I think he's like a very, very solid third pick. Like, because yeah. if you have like a low armor comp, you can get the punch looping. You can get the shackles. You can get the acidic touch. Maybe not punch looping, but you can still sucker punch and knock someone down. That's a round gone. If it's like an all ranged or mage comp, you can put down the black shroud to keep them from seeing anything. Like he is suffocating in silence. He is decaying on his corrupted blade. He's really good at applying statuses. Mm -hmm. he, They're just not yeah. always useful statuses. <laughs> yeah, but he has the smoke again. The the freaking smoke is so weird. Um. Yeah. yeah. Well, well hey, Dink, I hope me. that you win this tournament for my sake, and <laughs> uh, hopefully you use some of the strategies that I I uh, developed offhand. <laughs> pick Radeka yeah. in his honor. We want to see Radeka yeah. in the grand, uh, in the grand yeah, finals. Yeah, pick Radeka in my honor too. I would well. keep it on head. <laughs> oh, that was so uh, so cool. since we got so many people here, does anyone want to do like uh, an exhibition match? Like we do like. 2v2s or we could have you know maybe a loser bracket between me and poppy um actually we have uh we have a uh, ninja and Saul with a uh, uh, set lined up right you, you guys are, yeah. are ready for that so we actually have something lined up oh, right away that's even better yeah let's go <laughs> i think dadding is gonna go oh. to sleep though i, I really would yeah. like to watch not gonna lie but I also need to get sleep. It's almost six six a.m. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> yeah I, I was supposed to do let's that today. fucking go. Uh, I, I'll, I'll upload the VODs. I'll upload the VODs. You can watch it uh, whenever. I'm going to upload them to YouTube, oh, so I can just nice. send you the link. Please go uh, to sleep. Upload it? Uh, wait, it's up, it's, the link is in the Discord channel, isn't it? Um, well, right now we're just sort of like linking every bracket, every set that we have VODs for in mm -hmm. that channel, but I'm going to set up an actual YouTube. I was planning to do that today. Ah. Get to it. Uh, oh, so so I'll, I'll link Yo. it. He's gonna steal all our content. Let's go! Yeah. Ooh. yeah. Time to time to copyright claim him. <laughs> I'm curious yeah, to see what you guys. I want some money. Uh, anyway, isn't this one of the isn't this one of the quarterfinal matches? I thought Sol and Dirkington both won round one. Sorry. Uh, sorry. What what was that? I you can look at the bracket if you want. I can just send you the the challenge bracket if you want to look at it. Um, oh, I was saying because I thought didn't Sol beat. Uh, Golarar and Dur uh, yeah. Dippington beat Lumia. I thought the semifinals were like the quarterfinals for the weekend. Oh shit! You uh, no no no. We need to do that match actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna do semis and um, we're gonna have four players remaining at the tournament. This is a weird tournament, honestly, because yeah. we were at sixteen players. Then I kept the registrations open, and then we went up to 24, and then we locked it at 24. 24 is a really oh, odd number. Oh, God. There's 24 now? Yeah, there's yes. 24 now. Oh. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, like, for, for a people. little while, I was like, do we try mm. to go up to 32 to make it, like, a proper, like, even tournament, you know? Oh. And that's a little bit why I was hoping to get, like, a... Um, Wait, visibility through, through i was hoping that larian would actually give us a push and probably if they did any like, kind of retweet we would have hit that that 32 yeah. um but it hasn't happened by the way i tried to contact larian today and it, it didn't pan out and i was kind of sad about it but yeah. I, I think you would have to give them a little bit more notice in the future how did you i'm hmm? I, I mean i got a match to play but like afterwards like I want, I want to talk about maybe how you, how you contacted them because, like, dude, we're actually getting numbers here. Not the greatest numbers, but this server in, like, three days went from 26 to nearly 70 people. Yeah, we are over 70 as far as I know. <laughs> yeah, wow. we've, over, we've over tripled in size over the past that, that was the That was the 72 Reddit post. hours. I'm so happy yeah. that the Reddit post really blew up. 
just really you have 73 people on the server right now not yeah. including the flip coin bot yeah so that's that's yeah this is great like i should just be really happy about the whole thing um i think it was unfortunate timing so anyway we can talk about it later but uh, tldr just for uh, i guess um uh before before uh dadding leaves um i i've tried I, i've been trying to contact larry and for maybe the last two days now i've you know i've tweeted them i've mm -hmm. used several ways to get to them there's maybe two days like two ways left that i'm going to try to use but what i've been really sad about is that I, i've gone to the official discord and i've been around there trying to contact people you know and uh mm -hmm. it hasn't really panned out the mods were like oh they're probably busy and then there's there's you know the actual larian section who are not like volunteering mods they're actually people from the company so i looked through mm -hmm. them and I, i i found some that actually have the, the tag admin you know so i'm like well these people are admins like that's you know that's their job that's their job <laughs> and, and then yeah. i pinged vben twice so maybe i should try pinging someone else uh, i i pinged him for the first time i just never got a reply i tried dming him but you can't like all the staff just yeah. have dms blocked So I just added him in the in the Discord, and the first time I got nothing, and the second time he did reply, but his reply was just "Don't ping me, go to the appropriate section." <laughs> and I was okay. like, "Please, I've been trying to reach you. Why don't you just like take five minutes to like hear me out, you know?" And then like I just got laughed at in in the lobby of of like the Larian channel, and he never like did any follow up. So I was I was really bummed out about that this morning. Um, yeah. Because to me, it's just like an opportunity to to for them, you know, it's just you retweet it, and it's people playing your game for the for the for the people that designed Arena. For me, they they must be happy. They would be happy if they saw that. They they work really hard on that, and you know, it hasn't really shined that much yet, as far as I know. Um, anyway, yeah. so so that was that was too bad, but I won't give up. I'll I'll try to hit up uh their like business and info, like their their email addresses on the website. I feel like. It's never going to be as fast as just trying on Discord. And I mean, maybe I'm going to reach out to the same people anyway and they'll ignore me all the same. But I'll, I'll keep trying. You know, there, there's still there's still some time before the weekend. So we'll see. We'll see. Anyway. So, um, so uh, while we're getting the match set up, I was just thinking if you um, want to have like the even uh, 32 and you want to make like a group D, uh, you can always throw in a loser bracket since there's technically 12 round one losers. And if you get two-thirds of men you can have people who have a second chance um it could be the worry is that um well actually you know what the, the issue right now is that the way it's set up uh it already disadvantages people in group c um but anyway dadding you yeah, want to yeah. go to bed right we don't want to <laughs> we don't need to keep yeah. you up yeah here. i'm fine i'm fine okay okay so uh, let's i think i'm gonna go I got work in the morning, so oh. good luck with your match, guys. Okay, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Night, Barry. Um, so I'm curious to see what the, the casting is on the VOD. Because I, I was trying to make yeah, it cinematic when it wasn't my yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I was listening to how, how it was going, and I was like, wow, this must be fun to watch. I hope there's people out there. And honestly, there probably wasn't, but <laughs> the VODs will be there. I'm hoping the YouTube channel will... Uh, We'll get some oh, visibility. Right. Honestly, um, I kind of I should have just added everyone. I'm I'm a little shy to just use the everyone uh, mm -hmm. here and there, but I might as well have. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna paste the challenge. Oh, well, I, I don't know. I can paste it here. Um, but are you guys watching the? Do you have my? Um, I'll just actually I'll share my screen on Discord real quick. Um, streams. I was I have the the stream open in the background too. I just have it on like the lowest volume, so you still like the view count for it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> um, I haven't looked at the view count at all. I don't know. Uh... Oh, beautiful. Um, okay. So so if we look at the bracket here, you guys all see it. Yes. Okay. So we have three groups. Usually, you know, like that would be a tournament. You would have. Uh, that would be 16 people and you would get up to here and that would be the semifinals and then grand finals and everything right now we have a third thing which is really weird like this is like not symmetrical anymore um and so what happens here is that the late comers in the group c are actually disadvantaged and we'll look at how that turn that pans out in the final stage what happens here is that with 24 players you have um six people that make it to this like sort of final stage mm -hmm. um and that would be these four players here 
are all from group A and B, and only two people from group C make it. You see? So these are the second places from group A and B, and these are the first places of group A and B. And this is first and second place of group C. Um, and this is like, I looked into it. This is sort of like how it automatically set it up for me with 24 players. And I looked into it, and actually that's pretty much the fairest way it seemed to work, and it's actually coherent. But it's a, clearly a disadvantage for group C um, because they... Um they uh they're underrepresented like if you're in group c as far as i know you you uh unless i'm getting the math wrong but i feel like it's easier for them to to, to make it to this it's easier for these guys because there's four of them here you know um yeah. i can open this up again. i'm sur is it possible to do a round robin for the three top players in each uh bracket instead um we well that would require more matches to be played as far as i know um to be fair once we slap the timer on either yeah. once we slap the timer on the the match length hasn't been that bad well it is still long bo3s are pretty long like we've been here for a while i don't know um if we look at the vod how long it's been or i don't know if there's a way Hello? to look at it right now it, i mean it's like we all spent a lot of time talking so it says it's been like over an hour but there was like a half hour of just trying to get the match started going back and forth between who was playing mm -hmm. the matches did happen fairly fast though i mean they were trading blows hard right some some games are more drawn out than that like i think every game like happened pretty fast they were pretty like quick games i think yeah. my um, game actually lasted less than an hour but i move quickly and pay for it <laughs> oh, well, you mean against you mean against you mean against Lumi? Yeah, but that, yeah. yeah, those those matches were absolutely savage. Like, <laughs> she, yeah, she, she just I, I, feel, so, up. I feel um, so bad for that. Yeah, there were some some unfortunate uh, things that didn't pan out for her. Um, yeah, I I joined um, in to watch your third round against Lumi. I got to go back and rewatch the first two because that third match was still really fun to watch. <laughs> it, it was funny. What what I probably enjoyed the most was just all the chit chat after the set. Uh, talking about her speed. Wait, we only ever played two matches though, because I two owed her. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So there, there's Okay, then I saw the second match. I didn't see the first one. <laughs> um, um, don't don't forget to switch the brackets. We played the other way around. Oh yeah, I. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, because I switched it, but now I need to switch yeah. it back. Okay, so uh, I can do that. But anyway, you, you guys can can get the the the, the game setup going. I, I can look at this in the background. Uh, Okay, um, do you want to host Soul, or do you want me to host? You guys can flip a coin first to see uh, who gets to uh, choose the positions, actually, if we really want to do this properly. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll flip a coin. Let's say, uh, are you cool with um, Ninja having heads? I'll do that, okay? Ninja is getting heads. Um, uh, Soul is muted and hasn't said anything for a while, so one sec. Okay, they're, uh, they're typing. Either works. All right, good. I was gonna say they're muted. And I haven't heard them for a bit. Oh, okay, they might okay. not be. Here. So, okay, yeah. um, so I called. I called heads for you, and it turned out to be right. tails. So Saul would be the one banning him up. No, no, no. You would be the one banning him up, and he will be picking. And Saul would be picking. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to keep you waiting so long. Uh, Joe, do you want me to hang around and commentate for this match too? Oh, my my son's in bed, so I won't have anyone singing in the background this time. Oh, okay. No, that's been really fun, by the way. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. It, it was really fun. <laughs> it's definitely a lot more fun to to commentate with others. And I, oh, I, I, I miss commentating. I used to commentate Hearthstone back when I was in college, and that was that was super fun to do. Hey, I used to cast Battle Right. God, is it enjoyable? What? <laughs> Cool. Well, I'm new to it. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Uh, you're, you're, you're a natural at it. I mean, it's your channel, so I'm letting you take the lead for most things. I'm trying to comment here and there when I can. Mm -hmm. That's that's great. I mean, I, I've yeah, I've worked on putting the Discord together, but I feel like when I'm commentating, sometimes I just go a rabbit like down a rabbit hole too much, and I kind of nerd out. Uh, so yeah. I'll, I'll I'll look at it. I also oh my gosh, when I when I listen to vods a little bit, I can't do it because I hate my voice. But I guess it's something Same. you you get used. To. I, that's the case for everyone, I hear. Um, so. Pretty much. I, I've gotten more used to hearing my own voice recently. But. Yeah, but you guys have great voices. There's no way. There's no way Jimmy dislikes his own voice when he listens to it, right? There's no way. Well, I There's think we can all agree that Jimmy has the best voice for this. <laughs> he does. He does have a pretty good voice. Yeah. 
Uh, so I'm switching that in. Yeah, that in new wall again. All right, the lobby's up. It's yeah. uh, it should be pretty obvious to find. I can send you a direct connect code if you need it. Wait, so we just uh, watched. Uh, do in. one of you guys want to stream it in Discord, or if both of you guys can? That means uh, Joe and I can watch two different perspectives. That way we can tell each other like where someone invisible is to help each other out, too. Um, well, I was going to stream it on Twitch, because that's what Joe told me to do last time. But I can do it through Discord as well, if you'd like. Uh, well, we can have one person on Twitch and the other on Discord. And we can see, uh, that way we can see yep. which one has the better quality as well. If you, if you you guys are up to it i don't know if saul i don't know like what saul is up to though i know he's muted maybe uh but he can hear us as far as i know so uh yeah he's replying in the chat okay yeah. did um, you want to use in game so, but i'm going to sleep right now okay 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 <laughs> Good night. Night. so well, good night, Daddy, good congratulations good thank you thank you and good night to sleep. yeah good night <laughs> <laughs> uh, Take care. Yeah. Bye. Bye bye. But those were some fun matches. Not gonna lie, I had a great <laughs> time here. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. This All is the right, first tournament so... you guys have hosted so far, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's probably I'm the first. For... Is it the yeah. first boss two arena tournament ever? I, I, I thought so until maybe I've heard that. Uh, who is it? Uh, another person in this channel told me he wanted... No, no, no. I think this is the first one. Because someone else in the channel told me he wanted to organize one before, but it didn't work out. As far as I know. So, <laughs> yo, it's the first World Cup, man. Official first hey. World Cup. <laughs> I mean, if you're letting people from all over the world play, it is considered a World Cup. Also, I need to yeah. play on the stream. It's it's Maester that brought that up, and I was like, yo, let's make it glamorous as hell, man. <laughs> My yeah, boy. Was was helping me make the banner and like she was like yo you need to add more little shiny bling blings here and everything uh, bro and then we end up missing the first two matches of the game <laughs> uh, actually uh, that actually brings up a good point uh if any of the modders can like make a proper spectator slot that would we've uh, been looking into it out. yeah we've been looking Those into it not. it's it's not easy at least we're new to modding i've been around the modding forums luckily enough there's uh galgamos who showed up and helped me with a lot of stuff he's a, a avid follower of a, um, a streamer uh, and so I, I found him there he's a yeah avid streamer avid fan of galarar so i got in touch with him there he's helped me with some stuff but like it seems like most modders are like really interested in different specific things and the one thing that no one gives a fuck about is arena <laughs> no one cares no one's ever touched it okay <laughs> so, <laughs> so you know, real quick uh, until this happened i never even looked at arena yeah i mean uh, for me a week and a half ago it was the first time where i clicked the arena button but i i, I loved it i was instantly charmed so <laughs> this is why i'm here <laughs> um, um so real quick um does everything look good can you check out my stream oh yeah I'll, I'll, I'll launch it sorry i uh I should really make um, like a Discord where we can just uh, a, a, a channel where we can just click on everybody's. Maybe I'm gonna be watching your stream of his stream. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so three Great. characters, two slots, death match, trial by fire, sixty seconds, no mutators, no sudden death. I think we're good. Okay, so I we each get one number. ban. Uh, yeah, so Saul got the first ban, right? Yeah, okay. He goes yeah. a little higher. I actually changed my mind. Can you, can you link his Twitch in the chat? Yeah, that would make sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> the new voice chat option or something, right? Or... They always take Garhu. Always. Oh wait, so I'll, give me I'll the just wave. post it. Yeah. Uh, I dropped it in general chat. Okay, that works. So we want to get the viewers at my channel so we get they get the commentary going, I guess. Um, 
Yep. So I'll, I'll, I'll at everyone for this one, actually. I should do that pretty much. Yeah, whenever. I think I actually titled my stream your stream's name so that anyone who's watching it knows to go over to do your stream to like, wow, yeah, I have six people watching. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Or two of them. So. <laughs> go to this stream. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm watching uh, both streams. I'm giving you guys both the viewership here. <laughs> Let's go. All yeah. right, and then... Okay, he's all good. Wow, he went for one hell of a comp. Um, all right, my lady, luck be on my side. Are you allowed to make duplicates? So, no. Oh. All the water uh, build. I'm going to head out, and I hope the best of luck for Soul. Yeah, let's go. All right, have a good one. You too. And if you also make sure you just deafen for the match, Soul, so you don't hear the commentary. Yeah, uh, Soul, please uh, deafen. Oh, there yeah, I want to be. Okay, talk. cool. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so I didn't uh, fully follow. So it looks like we have Radica, Aru, and Tarkin against Zandalor, Slain, and Alexander. This is going to be a fun match to watch. Yeah, I think so. These are... I mean, yeah, these are all strong picks at this point, I guess. I think we're going to see these characters a lot. I've seen a lot of Radica tonight. I was not used to seeing her that often. <laughs> um... I, I said it before, Radica's my queen. She is almost always going to be one of my first picks for this. It's it's been uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it it works out for a lot of people apparently. <laughs> uh, her set is just really good because you can uh, f uh, use her to set up for freezing and electrifying people, and she just has some really good utility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I've lost many matches to her, but somehow I I didn't decide to pick her after that. <laughs> I probably should. Um, Ninja found this really crazy combo where you can have um, Melody teleport, you delay your turn. Oh, I shouldn't say this, right? He's still playing. Yeah, I won't reveal his stats. No, 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 but I don't even mean on this VOD. I just mean in general for the tournament. He should be, uh, like, I'll let him keep the secret and see if he if he shows it off. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, anyone who's getting to this point, we probably don't want to give away their strategies, at least not on a VOD. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I, I'll hold back. <laughs> it's 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 tempting, you know, because it's really like cool stuff when they discover it. But I'll let him try. Am I that. allowed to ask if it was similar to something that I did? In the. Uh yeah sure. Oh you mean during that set? No 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 no. It, oh, okay. No, it's not. It's like a a really uh, crazy turn one oh, opener. I can say that much. Um, so. I gotta admit, round one, I completely forgot how busted Arhu was, because um, yeah. my friend group had a rule of not picking him. <laughs> yeah. Um, wait, so... Yeah. Wait, I think Strong said the same thing. Are you from uh, the community where Strong plays? Uh, no. I did not know of any uh, community, like DOS2 communities, other okay. than the, the one on Reddit. Um... Okay, so I was just like your friend. Oh, so you, was, like, you came here like me from Reddit too. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, our our friend group really likes board games and stuff. So when I introduced Divinity, you know, they were into it. Nice, nice. And so you guys played some some uh, some in house matches, and no one liked Arhu. Well, I'm pretty sure uh, there's another guy who uh, played with friends and said the same thing. They just Auto auto ban Arhu. Everyone just auto ban Arhu. <laughs> yeah. And is that because you guys consider he's too like campy, I guess, or just too strong, or? Yeah. So there, there's a couple of reasons. One is, um, so I remember, or what? What? Sorry. Um, the first person who goes in tends to be at a disadvantage in Divinity simply because of uh, defender's advantage. You move. You have to use AP to move. Oh, you, you're saying so that the team that has Radica that plays first has a disadvantage? Uh, rather the first person who commits to going in. So, 
if you pick Arhu, then one, summons are really strong because you can get chip damage without committing uh, anything of value. Like, uh, elemental totem totems are used against me pretty effectively for that. Yeah. Now, I, I do have to disagree with that to some extent because there are certain, like, early in commitments and openings, like uh, the Lohar web, which is super strong, or the Jahan explosive jelly blob, which is also super strong. There's a lot of decent openings that don't set you at a disadvantage that should give you a really good advantage. Um, well, I mean, in any case, I think this game definitely favors having high initiative because you can delay your turn anyway, right? And then yeah. delaying your turn if you're Radica and you delay your turn, you literally get two turns in a row, uh, which will definitely me make it worthwhile for you to take the initiative at that point. Because <laughs> you can get so much damage done, and you could literally just deal damage and walk back from it. Um, I think... I mean, that's also easily counterable, though. Because like, if I'm playing against Radica and she delays her turn, my first person, I'm just going to have them delay their turn as well. That way she doesn't get two back-to-back. -back. It's like her, me, her, me, and it's a little more even that way. Uh... Now, speaking of Radica, I'm very uh, interested to see how she got teleported all the way across the map, and now she's trapped by three others. Sorry, I'll go back to the It's one of those things where uh, teleport will always be a busted spell in yeah. any context. <laughs> um, I, ever since the start of the organization of this tournament, I've uh, rapidly, uh, Nazatur, uh, a streamer, got involved. And he's been mm -hmm. telling me since the first, like, first, first, first day I talked about it to him, he was like, you need to set a limit on how many characters with teleport you can draft for each team. Um, <laughs> But honestly, over and over and over again, I've been really impressed by the, the design of Arena, honestly. Um, yeah. As the characters with Fortify gain so much value for being counters to, to teleports. Because let's say you have a Radeka that has a teleport. For Radeka, it's kind of like a defensive tool. So if someone engages her, she can just throw that person away. But then you can just fortify someone and send that person like chasing Radica, and that person just you can position aggressively without worrying about getting teleported away. Um, yeah. So there's definitely strong counterplay. Um, that it, I wouldn't call it a strong counterplay, only for the sense that like you can only fortify one person, which negates one of three teleport targets, and you can also use teleport on your teammates. So naturally, teleport's always gonna be better than fortify, but there are niche cases where fortify is a really good counter to it. Oh, well, I mean, of course, like you'd rather have you'd rather have the teleport than the fortify as a skill. I'm sure. Like, I'm I'm I perfectly agree. I mean, teleport is is one of the strongest spells in the game, hands down, if not the strongest. Um, but in in the context of arena, where each character is. I'd like to say every character is is you know um, carefully crafted. Although we we still have characters that seem to have very <laughs> uh, let's say weaker usage than others. Um, yeah. Oh, he needs to curse that. He needs to curse that. Oh no, okay, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah. Uh, so oh, I, yeah, I do want to say uh, he has come back kid. He has come back kid. Uh, I do want to uh, props to uh, Durkinton here for really good use for uh, locking down Radica because the two summoners have really no way to save her, and uh, he's you know locking Radica down, killing her, and also keeping that Bone Widow uh, uh, unable to do anything at the same time. Yeah. Oh, that. Wait, that was not Arhu. Who died there? I thought it was Arhu first. Uh, oh, that's Radica. Radica. Oh, that was Radica. You know, oh, he, he teleported Radica across the map with uh, Zandalore there oh. and then just froze her and kept her there until she was killed. Oh, wow. Okay. Killed. I, I was really out of focus for that for a moment there. Okay. So that's. So, uh, that's that, that, yeah, this is looking super one sided then. Okay. I, I'm thinking this is a. Um, this is like a class on how to deal with like summoner chip damage and stuff where you just out. Like annihilate them, <laughs> I guess, with uh, some uh, early game moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, again, um, there's we some were, there's uh, some yeah. very satisfying ways you can do like totems are there's maps in in my opinion 
somehow I always counter totems pretty efficiently on this map. There's many plays you can do. If you have wings, you can seize high grounds where it's hard to reach with totems, things like that. Um, and the most satisfying thing to do for me is just if you do super conductor from a high ground, it just wipes the map of all the totems and it's so much AP gone for the for the summoners. Um, so I, that was a great uh, Guardian Angel by Slain. Uh, normally keeping everyone grouped together is death sentence. And against the uh, explosive block or the, the explosive corpse here, it's going to be a risk. But uh, probably a good call to do against summoners who don't have as much AoE abilities. Uh, do you think Slain does not get his turn before the whole combo happens? Um, at least a healing wave, at least. Oh, but that oh, hits wait, physical. Uh, okay. So actually, yeah. Slain. Tanked all the physical damage here. That was yeah. really good for him, actually. That's an oil in Okay, he's. I think he's gonna knock down or uh, stun the incarnate, or just cause oil and slow it. That works too. Uh, he's gonna end up killing Slain here, if he. Yeah, I don't know how worth it that is. Oh yeah, that was. I don't think he realized. I don't think he realized that was yeah. happening there. I always make this mistake all the time. So what did they get? Um, blood, uh, the explosion, the blah, 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 bloated corpse. It says decay. I believe there's a curse on the ground, right? Oh, Earlier. okay. Or from Cluster Nade, it creates the... Oh, uh, I don't know. How did oh, this thing get decayed? Cluster Nade put a curse and then it's somehow mixed up. Yeah, surfaces can yeah. be quite confusing in this game. Yeah, it's just that no one uses Cluster Nades in the campaign, so... Yeah. Like, the hell? This is why I love Arena. They have these little items that shine so much. Whoa, what's that about? A dimensional bolt. He's gonna summon an electric boy. Oh. I'm not really sure why. He, he has a lot of blood to work with, and they're all very low on physical. But it is on him. I, I think just because of how far away Aru is, he might not have been able to get the uh, sight. Like he didn't even use the uh, the lightning. I actually don't know why he did that. Well, maybe he ran out of AP somehow, I'm not sure. Was he maybe hoping for a different element? No, that sounds fine. Not sure. Kind of waiting for the uh, sucker, funny sucker punch on Xandalore. Yeah, he should do it right now, I think. He's gonna go for the effect. Yeah, that's really strong. Too. In, in fact, is not some. I've, I've almost never used that spell, but yeah. it's. It is potentially extremely interesting. Uh, I'm not sure on what map. Oh my god, the zeros. <laughs> um, it is potentially extremely interesting. Um, what did that accomplish, actually? Uh, it, it poisoned the uh, the elemental or the incarnate. I guess he was just killing the incarnate, but I don't think that. I, I guess that really was the only choice because uh, Tarkin has way too much magic resistance to burn through, and this is pretty much one of the only ways he can keep Xandalar alive for a little while. But what did the wall accomplish in terms of killing the elemental? Oh, uh, it uh, poisoned it, and it did damage as the wall was coming up. So, like each little tick of the wall that came up did poison damage to the elemental. Oh wow! Okay, I did not know that. So I guess a monster with a huge hitbox will take a lot of ticks from that. How much damage do you think actually occurred to the elemental from that wall? It was kind of hard to tell because the numbers went up really quickly. Uh, there were mostly in numbers between like seven and nine, and I think I saw it seven or eight times. So I had to do at least like sixty to seventy damage. Wow! So that's yeah, wow. not so high, but that's pretty decent, I guess. Kind of makes me want to try it in <laughs> the campaign or something. Yeah, the the spell I've never actually, to be perfectly honest. Every time I try to use it, I didn't understand how to use it. Like, I just clicked wherever and it made two tiny little things. Um, so now that I know how it works, I might look into it again. Yeah. Definitely. It could, it, is. Be, it could be good against some summons. Um, if it had high initiative, if Alexander had high initiative, he could use that to, to block some really busted, like, openers, you know? Yeah, but he doesn't. <laughs> so, so if you play last, you can't. Like, it's harder to block things ahead of time. It would be really nice to have a balance mod. There is one. Uh, there is one. But I, 
I can't say I've really played with it that much, but uh, it doesn't interest me at all. I, I think I find it very interesting to keep going with, with the vanilla, uh, at least for a while, you know? Um, I thought Sahila was trash for the longest time, and then I realized that she has like the strongest three source spell in the game, so it's sort of like when you pick Sahila, it's kind of about moving around the map, gather source, and then uh, uh, and get her spell out positioned correctly, and you can win the game right there uh, with the pyroplastic eruption, I think. So, uh, so correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just kind of going back to what's going on, but the uh, that curse on Tarkin was kind of a waste of AP because it was blocked by the magic armor, and isn't that already Necrofire that he's standing in? Uh, he, he, oh, he tried to curse Tarkin. Yeah, I guess that was just yeah, I guess just a mistake. Well, did you see the Tarkin uh, uh, sucker punch though? That was nice. Yeah. I'm being called to play uh, another game oh, okay. with some lads, so I will run or I will watch this VOD. It's very cool being in the a Divinity tournament. I hope that there's some more in the future. I, I definitely hope so, and I think so honestly. I think there's going to be more for sure. <laughs> thanks for thanks for, for passing by. <laughs> yeah, great games, Poppy. I was glad to hang out. Thank you, and uh, I'll probably tune in for some more okay. games in the future. Sounds good. Sounds good. See you around then. See ya. See ya. Alright, so this looks like it's going to be kind of tough for uh, Dippington to come back, or Ninja to come back. Yeah. Um, his Alexander is fairly healthy, but... It's also, it's been a couple of rounds too, so I think, uh, if not on Aru's next turn in the following one, you should be able to get the Incarnate back too. Oh, he's going for Magic Shell. Ah, he did get it, okay. But, I mean, they have a lot of Fizz damage, right? So... Didn't he have... Hmm. Yeah, he didn't really I mean, have... They, they both have Totem, so just pop him some Blood Totem. I think one hit would be enough to get through Alexander's armor. The two definitely will. But do you think Fortify? Yeah, he should have Fortified them, right? I think he may have misclicked because it looked like he was clicking around trying to get the zero AP movement uh, to max out his magic armor. And then I think he may have accidentally gone a little too far and missed out oh, on the Fortify. Oh, right. Yeah, that would be quite unfortunate. He wanted to have both uh, both armors in. He could have Fortified Zandalore also. I guess he just considered him to be a lost cause. Um, a saving grace? Uh, Zandalore right? was knocked down previously, too. But uh, he may have been in a lost cause. We'll see. Yeah, okay, here he goes. Um, now... Gets a turn here. If he could get one source for the plant... Oh, Arhu is full. There's no way. Never mind. There's, there's no way. Yeah, no, this is, this is pretty much game over. Unless he gets, like, some really lucky hits. But I don't see that happening here. Honestly, if I were him, I'd almost want to just try to walk away from all the totems, or he needs to kill the totems. Oh, oh yeah, that wait, did that that freeze him? I think he lost his turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that lost the turn for Arhu, but then that's that's good. Yeah, that that was a good outcome for him. I think the totems just gonna be too much, and yeah, see, we have the the Bone Widow now. I don't think he'll be able to stop Aru yeah. again, and Aru should have his elemental on his or his uh, incarnate on the next turn. Yeah, it's over. Wow, Sol is pretty strong, eh? Yeah, that was that was a great first round. I'm a really, I really hope Ninja wins the second one, just so we can have three matches between these two. It would be great, yeah. Um, I think he has chances of bouncing back. He let Aru through. He let Aru is 
very strong. Yeah, Aru is uh, scary. Uh, between Jahan, Aru, and Lohar, I think Aru and Lohar are probably my first two bands. Jahan's scary, but I don't think he's as scary as Aru. Um, I don't know. I, I, to me, it's like if you don't have a way to prevent the blob combo, if you draft around Jahan to just finish the team off after, it's it's so hard to win. I but they are I, I, t t in my in the way I see it. If you have Lohar, you can actually end web the place where the blob would go, and then you can prevent at least the turn one blob. Um, that is true, but I don't think uh, John usually he has what seventeen initiatives, so he usually goes second right after like Radica and Lohar, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's why you can actually web it and, and prevent the blob with Lohar. Um, uh, well, yeah, but I'm thinking, like, if Lohar is banned, then uh, the only other person that could do a web is, I think, Dallas, but she goes yeah, after Jahan would. Exactly, so that's why Lohar is on, not the only really viable counter to the blob. And Jah yeah, Jahan is very strong. Um, another counter I've heard of from Ian is... Um, um, oh, got someone new in the channel. Um, is Slain? Uh, how does Slain counter Jahan? Um, Um, yeah, okay, so Slain, the way that they looked into it is you drop the Frost Grenade. Um, that's funny. Uh, so you drop the, the Ice Grenade and you just walk over it. Like, so after the blob, you just pop the grenade on top and then you just walk in circles until you get Magic Shell. And it, it might cancel most of the damage of the blob combo. And then I guess if you have both Slain and Zalandar, you can mostly just cancel out the damage. Um, of course, after that, you you just kind of spent all your AP to stay in place there. But that's that's fair. It's it's a m small counter. I wouldn't say it's like the best one, but it does its work. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, yeah, that that you know, it's it's like you have to pick reactively to Jahan to counter him, but at least that that makes it like you can you can. I mean, if you let Jahan through and you get slain in Zalandar, those are two very high, like high priority picks. So, uh, it, it, I love how the picks so far they put the same from before. Our first pick was Aru, and the second two picks were Radica and Zandalar. So I'm curious to see if uh, Ninja here is going to pick two different people to mix up, or if he's going to go like uh, Tarkin and whoever the third person is from that first oh, yeah. match. This is like the chess where you just like copy, like, do what the opponent, like just copy his moves. That's kind of funny. Okay, he gets Alexander. I, I think you might be viewing this like a second or two ahead of me because it took him a second to pick Alexander after you said that for me. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna try refreshing his stream and see if it catches me up a little bit here. I mean, it makes sense if there's a slight delay. That's unfortunate, but I guess we would need to have someone stream it on the stream uh, on the stream directly. Yeah. That happens. Uh, All right, th this is a nice little mix-up, though. I I uh, right off rip. I do think that Soul has a slight advantage here because he has two different cases of being able to teleport with Radica and Zandalor, whereas uh, Drippington does not have any teleports and only one fortify. Um. Yeah. In fact, although Arhu, Arhu is strong, <laughs> so we'll see what happens. The thing is, you can't really. Um, 
Oh. Uh, I don't know if they... Oh, okay. Okay. Great. Okay, so was it a mistake that he picked uh, no. Sahila there? So apparently, like, one AP was lost and he doesn't know why. So maybe, like, a micro movement happened. I think he meant to maybe delay turn with Radica, and like it didn't work. Out. And accidentally clicked and like moved like point one or something. That yeah, makes sense. Maybe. Yeah, I see. So he's. Oh, again, you see it delayed, but yeah, they they they've uh, looked at it in the chat. Um. That's yeah, I mean nice. that's that's nice, and they're just doing the exact same Wait, team. But yeah, this he was went... a good restart. Wait, he went for Sahila this time. That's who he had last time. Oh, that is who he had last time. Okay, wow. I'm, okay, okay. I, I'm so not used to that take that I, I didn't even <laughs> think it possible. Wow, I really need to focus on my commentating. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be fair, we've seen a couple of really good Sahila plays. I think uh, against uh, the team that Ninja has, Sahila's probably a really good pick just because Alexander and Tarkin are both so low on that physical armor. But it's just, why would you pick... Sahila over um, um, Riker, right? Riker like is way nastier when it comes to what he can do once the armor's down. Uh, well, I mean, he has a knockdown arrow for one. That's huge. That can be a, a game turner right there. So, uh, wait, so he just teleported a barrel? I think it was to try and slow down whatever incarnate somewhere. Maybe so instead of poison incarnate, it would be something different. Oh, interesting. Yeah, this spot does not work as much as. Oh, he's not going to get it. It won't be blood. It's just a basic one. That's, that's kind of rough. Yeah, must, that, that's going to hurt a little. He must be upset right now, but it did not say blood. When he hovered it, there, it didn't say blood. Uh, yeah, I didn't see it say blood either. I think the safer choice would have made be making uh, one of the oil incarnates because fossil strike. It's not the greatest spell, but it's it's strong. It's okay. I, I don't see anything wrong with that. Honestly, I would have definitely gone for that. And he doesn't get slowed either if you do that, right? So yeah, so I think the only thing that really uh, the oil really stops here would be stopping a uh, bone widow. But I mean, you just move up and cast it beyond it. Oh wow, I think he just got busted already because she can't move up there right now. So she'll know for sure that that the uh, element the the incarnate's there. Uh, Which is good doing. and bad. I I think I mean if I were um Oh Soul said in chat didn't mean to move there and he still managed to go up there, so maybe he does know the incarnate's oh, he goes there. Through somehow. Goes through somehow. That. I, I think he, there's. It looks like the incarnate's not completely back, blocking the ladder. There's like a little spot to the left of the ladder that's like not there. So you can probably walk around the incarnate or like wow. still touch the ladder to go up it. That's curious. I don't know if that allowed him to see that the incarnate was there or not, though. Um. To me, one big because honestly, if you just blow up the incarnate early on, um. Arhu loses so much value. Like for me, if I lose the Incarnate and I decided to draft Arhu, like my whole game plan takes a hit and I'm really unsure about how I will approach the match from there. Uh, but I feel like if people get really good at like listening to the steps and, and sort of just revealing um, the Incarnate, uh, it might be a big counterplay to Arhu in general. Uh, I personally love the play that he did with the raising the bloated corpse because that makes it so A, Sahila can't uh, source vampire it to get her third oh, source he, she point can, and she, she it's a nice it. explosion. It, it doesn't prevent the source vampirism. Oh, but source vampirism prevents raising a bloated yeah, corpse? Yeah, it's, it's a one way street. It's uh... Oh, that seems so backwards, but okay. Yeah, it, it's curious, yeah. Um. I, either way, that was still a good play because now Sahila is completely out of armor, and between uh, Aru, Tarkin, and Alexander, there's a oh. lot of physical damage on the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the Incarnate would have gone a knockdown if it wasn't for this freeze there, so... Uh, see, the Incarnate can just blow up now, and it's it's... It has, like, a potential damage output of, like, 500 or something in two turns. Like, it... It can kill someone so fast, but um, it can die very fast as well. 
I, honestly, I see a lot of people using the incarnate turn one. I will say that the better play would to be to get into a good position and drop a totem and then save the incarnate so you can uh, drop it, buff it where it's already next to someone instead of trying to set up with them. I cast it turn one every time while he's sort of out of range. I cloak him because the maximum value you'll get out of an incarnate is if you can put the incarnate close to their team um, and wait there and stack up AP. Because if you can get 6 AP on an incarnate where he only has to move 1 or 2 AP, um, this is where the incarnate really shines. Um, but I mean, I guess if you summon the incarnate right next to someone, that's also good, but it costs you your whole turn. Um, whereas you could be using yeah, that's it. fair. Yeah, I that's... think the only issue is like trying to summon it and then sneak it up there. Like uh, this is the second time we've seen that happen. The incarnate gets caught out with rain and then immediately frozen because you can't uh, boost its magic resistance. Yeah, um, that never happens to me, so I don't know what to say. <laughs> the last time my incarnate got rained was my own doing because I didn't realize that my own rain was going to have it in range. Uh, I think usually, if you, like, yeah, that's where it gets interesting. You you got to plan ahead well how you're going to be not too obvious with it. You know? Same goes for low barn and stuff like that. I tend, to save, I, I tend to save a lot of AP. For me, in general, every time you play your turn, if you have two AP for mobility left, you might as well keep it. Um, I, I just want to uh, step in here. I'm interested by his choice to bring out the cat and pretty much just immediately kill his own incarnate instead of trying to make them use up another spell or two on it. Yeah, that's curious. That's quite curious because you can use the cat on another character instead since it's a scroll, you know. I would have definitely gone for that instead because as soon as the incarnate unfreezes, he can just walk up and knock down Sahila, so he would have had to take care of that. I think what would have been really cool is if he gave the cat to Alexander, you summon the cat, and then on the next round, you like delay Alexander's turn so the cat can get him into position, and then you have a full round with Alexander in a better spot. Yeah. Yeah. And then maybe you can summon the plant after <laughs> to replace the cat, and yeah. Yeah, that that would be pretty awesome and crazy. I, I love that plant. I never get it off in Arena, because usually my Alexander gets focused down. But the plant is so insane if you ever get it off. Yeah, it's it, you should be able to get it off because it's only it's one source. Like you, you just just how does your Alexander get blown up so fast? For me, the plant is like the first thing you go for as Alexander. You just go get one source, and then you, you just wait for your opening to. to I, I think the problem is because I usually try and get my source on Radica since I usually have them in the same group, and then. Um, um, uh, usually I keep Radic in a safer position and my Alexander just ends up getting uh, gunned down and focused. Okay, yeah. Okay. Here comes the Widow and then he's gonna drop the totem as well. I hope that won't block his Widow. Oh, uh, it has range. Okay. Oh, that was that was a good spot for it, yeah. This is, um, this is the second time we've seen Radica get focused down early on. Yeah. Uh, how much do you know how offhand how much the bleed damage is? Um, I think most tick damage are like around fourteen or so. Okay, so the bleed won't be enough to kill her, so he's either gonna have to use uh, Alexander to finish off Radica, or uh, well, I mean, pretty much that's the only option. Otherwise, she's gonna get a full turn, and one superconductor there is gonna be pretty devastating. Yeah. My opener with Radica is usually to delay her turn, yeah, to get two turns. Uh, it's It can be really strong. On this map, I usually tend to try to get Radica on the other high ground. Um, and just have people sort of like guard her there. Uh, if someone comes up to you, you can just teleport them away. It, it can be pretty strong, but... Oh, uh, he got... Up by the oil. Uh, his um, Zalandar got slowed by the oil, so yeah, Paul seems to be a bit upset about it. Uh, 
Uh, that was that seems like it was a decent teleport. I don't know why he, oh, uh, he focused on fortify. You know what? I never would think to do this fortify, but actually, if the opponent's clever, he can just sucker punch you. Oh no, but he can't sucker punch with Zalandar because he has a two hander. Oh, he did the fortify for the teleport, so he would be stuck with the plant. Oh, it was, it but. Was Oh, I'll just say, uh, unless Radica has teleport, oh, I don't remember if she used gosh, it or not. Oh my gosh, that critted. He got crits there, that's insane. Yeah, like I said, if Radica survives and she gets that super in Dark Roth, it was gonna be devastating. I mean, that was a crit too. So, somehow his team seems rather healthy after that. Yeah, but Ra Arhu is full. Tarkin, so Arhu and Tarkin did not get hit. And Alexander is fine it seems here's the healer oh so he's he's gonna try to get that uh three source i think that's the that's the play here and down on tarkin he's stuck there now and now he's... that's actually pretty rough because i don't think tarkin's in range to really do anything and with bone widow already up he doesn't have bloated corpse available so all he can really do is drop a totem and end his turn well yeah, I guess so. If things go already, he, like, I mean, he can save AP. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's totally fine because he's only crippled for one turn. You cast a totem and then you just keep your two AP for the next turn. And then you have a six turn AP, a six AP for a turn. So that, that's fine. You know, for me, as long as you keep, as long as you save two AP, if you're in a safe spot, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, I think uh, it also looks like he's moving Aru up closer to Sahila. Uh, kind of a risky play, other than the fact that he's still full health. I think what he's going to do is on the next Aru turn, he's going to try and get up that ladder and sucker punch her since she has no armor left. Oh, that would be pretty cool, actually. Um, if I were him, I would have probably like tried to like hide halfway through, <laughs> honestly, just so he can get shot on the way. But I think he knows that she's going to focus on Tarquin and not, and not hit Aru. Yeah, she has no reason to hit her Arhu. To hit his Arhu. Yeah, Tarkin's definitely in the worst spot, and since her arrows are all physical damage, Tarkin's really the only one that she might be able to kill here. Well, yeah, so he could Living Edge himself. That's that's that might be the be the play. Either Living Edge himself or. Uh... That actually might be the only play, because it looks like everyone else is a little too healthy, so you can't get Dominate Mind off. Let's just go for that. This is interrupted. Uh, land. Does Zalandar have magic armor? Oh, uh, he's a very tiny bit left. So yeah, I don't think, I think he probably did the best choice that he like the second best choice with the totem because that's what we originally said he could have but living on the edge might have been the better choice i'm not sure if he was in range of the chest but if she if he is that's that's only like that's a zero ap to check and then that's a scroll that alexander could have used though so. that's true oh, this although this is gonna be physical. a good grenade oh, no, this this gets blocked by physical oh that's oh, awesome the other grenades yeah that wasn't great but the radica's dead here yeah radica's dead Unless you can see, unless you get a 5% miss, like that would be... Oh, no, it wasn't the miss, it was the, the bone widow was shocked, so it only had 3 AP. Oh, okay, okay, no, 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 I thought, I, 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 I thought he would get it, I'm just saying, it could have been really upsetting if it did miss, but... I mean, if it was a miss, though, that kind of would have been funny. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I don't know, I, I'd rather, like, take that off, but, well... Uh, yeah, there, there's an argument for and against having that 5% mischance. I just think that that little bit of RNG is nice because the 5% mischance here, the 95% to hit here isn't like it is an XCOM or 95% chance to hit is really like a 50% chance. Right, yeah. Oh. I mean, think about how many games we've watched. Just today alone, this is our fifth or seventh match that we've watched. I think we've only seen like three misses out of all of them. Yeah, but that's, I think... There weren't that many. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Right? Funny, but that makes it all the more frustrating when a match turns around because of it. 
Oh wow, he gets he gets source for that. He's gonna have the three source. I don't know how that's gonna pan out for him. Yeah, because early on he ran around, and picked up two. So yeah, I think uh, not using Living on the Edge was really the death sentence. I think he was probably trying to kill off Radica, but I think keeping Tarkin alive would have been the better play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. One thing I've been wanting to play around with is let's say he Living on the Edge. Um, yeah, I think going up there is kind of clever, because if Sahila goes down, which she will, I think, then um, he has the high ground. And if Haruhu gets the high ground, I don't think um, Saul has any chance to beat him. Uh, he might be able to teleport him off with Zandalar, or Zandalar but it would Zandalar be at least, I think, three more turns until he could teleport back. Yeah, no, Zandalor's dead. Zandalor's not dead. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He's also, like, super low. Yeah. How did uh, how did Radica get healed so much? Uh, Lifesteal, I think. Or Necromancy, uh... Talent. Decaying. Oh, wow, that's good. Decaying just fucks her up, I guess. Now, because if she Necros, it's gonna hurt her. Wow, Decaying is such a counter to Necro, actually. Yeah, well, he's poisoned, but he has Soothing Cold. Still very unfortunate, he's at 14 health. Yeah, the Soothing Cold saved him there. I think the better play would have been to knock down Sahila. Knock her down? Oh, with the Sucker Punch. Yeah, because he, he even checked, there's only 3 AP to go up the ladder. Yeah, but that wasn't his plan. I guess he was looking at if he can do a 2 AP move up there or something. Or maybe he was just checking if he can land a totem up there. Oh, well, that's... That was kind of funny. That's oh, and Alexander got the points for it. That's uh, that's not the best target, but it means that uh, he'll be able to recast the plant in three turns. Or four turns. Uh, Ball is upset with how the pathing turned out. Yeah, I mean... Well, I'm, I'm really happy with that chain heal because that, you know, obviously with the decaying it damaged Erratica. Oh, right. It does bounce to her if she has a uh, chain going on. Yeah, that's nice. Let's see if the cat can clutch out a kill. I don't think it can, but uh, it'd be really funny to watch the cat kill someone. I've, I've always hoped for it, but actually... Is he gonna... Uh, is the cat one of those uh, random summons that can climb ladders? No, oh, it cannot, weirdly enough. It would make a lot of sense if it could. Oh, I've seen cats climb trees. I think a cat can manage a ladder. I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you would think so, but... The bird can and many blobs can, but the cat cannot. Yeah, that seems really weird, but... Ooh, that double silence. No, sorry, there's only a single silence. One of them managed to resist it. He's healing the planet. <laughs> That's kind of funny. That's cute. The most underwhelming rogue skill in the game. <laughs> yeah, when I when I first saw Ricochet, I thought it was gonna be one of the best moves available, and then I quickly stopped using it because it was just disappointing as anything other than summons. Yeah. Oh, this is actually not good. Uh, that kills Rudeka though, and then he can shield up. Yeah, that sounds better. That's good. Um, honestly, this combo did a lot of damage. Um, if Sahila plays this properly, I would not underestimate her here, because she has three source. Uh, it remains to be seen how she sets it up. Ooh, he's getting Haru into position with a swap place, which is kind of nice. Although I don't think, yeah, the Cavs won't have the range for it, unfortunately. Yeah. The cat is a little hard to use because, um... oh, that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't do quite as much damage because she does still have the. Oh, is that acid or is that poison? That's acid. So it doesn't. Oh, never mind. That is good then. No, I thought acid goes through armor. Uh, acid removes physical armor, but it doesn't deal vital damage. 
Gotcha. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Acid is one of those weird elements that I never really utilize or yeah. get a chance oh to utilize. Oh my god, this is so bad for him now. Okay. Uh, I don't know how he recovers from that. I didn't expect the kills to happen so so fast. Yeah, I think uh, he if he's right up against that oh, he wall, can, he, he can, will be safe from okay, the arrows. Okay, he's gonna bless himself, but he he needed to go. Oh my god, I would have like hidden and then blessed myself there. Um, Tahila is gonna have the teleport eventually and just bounce on him. Oh yeah, no, it's it's blocked. There's no way. It's absolutely blocked. Um, not much to be done here for the cat. He could very well position the cat. He, it's extremely hard to get up there. I don't think he can. I would position the cat to swap. He could swap Arhu into like a hiding place. Well, the problem is that he can't swap with Arhu while Arhu's behind. Oh, did he get it? Did he get it? Tank. I think he saw a spot. I mean, there, there's a little thing showing up there, but it's not quite getting no, it. It's, it's just barely being blocked. But I think for a, for a moment, it... Oh, no, it, that doesn't work. Yeah, it's over. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, he will have Riz's death. He will have Riz's death, actually. But the fire will kill him. Wow. That was genius to use the fire there. That was... I don't man, know. that was, I don't that was know. a close back and forth match. Yeah, that was really close. I don't know if the fire was on purpose, but yeah. I mean, he could have just shot him, so I'm assuming the fire was on purpose in order to make the him die on his turn. Yes, sir. Wow, that was quite a match there. Um... Yeah. I just love how both matches you guys knew that Radico is the, the real problem and you guys focus her first. Yeah, Radica is my, my sleeper pick because of that high initiative. I don't know what was happening. I, I don't know if it's because you had jellyfish skin and it gave you resistance, but you healed so much fucking damage. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she healed up a lot, eh? On the second one. The first match, I just had no excuse to lose. I, I healed Slain and it actually killed him and i'm so mad i didn't catch that but also cursed water applies to kang right he was standing in fire and then he was standing in i guess blood yep something like that yeah. really mad i killed him there had no reason to lose the first one the second one was whatever yeah, I mean, the, the, both of them had a lot of back and forth. Uh, the second match there, I, I had no idea who was actually going to end up winning. Uh, I actually would have originally said you had the higher opportunity because you had the two different characters with teleport against a team with no teleport, which was a huge uh, advantage. Yeah, but he used his initial teleport on an oil barrel, which, I mean, I guess you won, but I think was a terrible choice. Uh, I, I figured... I could use it for some zoning control because that way I I can figure out where you're going to go and then kind of play from there. Uh, but like But the moment I that I got Sahela at the very top, I knew I was going to win. Well, you yeah. know, I personally I was going to say that when you got Sahela up there, I think if he sent his Arhu up there with her and we were talking about that me and Redneck, actually his Arhu could have very well just walked up and sucker punched her. Yeah, point. which I was I was surprised you didn't do that, Ninja, because I feel like... I was thinking about doing that. Out. Yeah, that, that was the play, I think. I um, was really thinking about it, but fucking Radeka never died, and I was like, all right, I'm bringing in Arhu, and we're finishing this off right. Yeah. but Because holding... she just wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But then you decayed her, so that was good. But honestly, I think it's just whoever... Because that high ground that he had on Sahila is huge. and Yeah, Arhu... that's that's a 45% increase to damage at that height for, for her yeah 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 yeah. and 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 but the thing is that you can hide away from that high ground if you go at like where radeka was was out of reach for that high ground um but at the end of the day arhu is a summoner so if he went up there and he forced sahila to leave then uh there was no way arhu was losing from that high ground, I think so. So definitely, I think going up there, because also after the the sucker punch, you could have probably chicken her, and then uh, that would have. Yeah, if you were able to knock me down, you would have been able to turn me into a chicken. 
and then that would yep, be no nope, i definitely should have kept with that just but back. i understand that you wanted to get rid of fucking radica because she she's she's a menace like she has yeah, a two for one stuff. i figured i'd win and then the arrow hurt and the teleport hurt yo these arrows like i always think uh sahila deals really bad damage but somehow these i don't know the, the damage output there with the 40 uh, yeah it's 45 percent as you say that's insane so with yeah the, honestly the archers you uh... need the high ground otherwise the archers can't do anything but once you get the high ground archers yeah. really shine yeah so honestly i feel like they got I smurfed guess. on you weren't this good against galarian <laughs> yeah, no, that was that was my first match in a, in arena ever. Oh wow! Okay, damn. 